might be a little bit loud. I apologize. <laughs> Because Nick told me to. Yeah. Oh, hey! Clucking the chowds. <laughs> really, uh, really clucking those chowds. All right. Sound check, sound check, sound check. I'm so confident in this new sound receiver from Kaz that I don't, it's like, I know it works. I know it works. It's like a miracle. It's like a dangle clack free experience. Cross those fingers. All right. Mm. Wow, what's up, everybody? Hello and welcome. Welcome and hello. It's Mother Truckin' Thursday, which means it's Mother Truckin' Vlog Day. And yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah. I got a full-on, full-on action-packed vlog for you guys planned out tonight. Timestamps for anybody watching on that hashtag replay crew. They're going to be the first pinned comment right underneath this video. My main man. I mean, when I say main man, I call a lot of people my main man. But if there is a main man, it's Jeremy V. Hands down. Jeremy V is a, is a critical part of the Grim Green Industries operation. And so he's going to be collecting those timestamps, making them a first pinned comment right into this video. They also get turned into chapters. So whatever you're interested in, in any part of the vlog on the replay crew, boom, just click around. Watch whatever you want, whenever you want to watch it. It's a beautiful thing. There he is. There he is, Jeremy V. Listen, we're trying. <laughs> look, we're trying not to go long tonight. We're trying not to go long tonight. And I have some things that I'm going to be talking about tonight that I'm not necessarily really super, really super excited to talk about. I guess I'll just leave it there. I'm not really super excited to talk about these things, but we're going to talk about these things. Like the title of this vlog says, what's up with Grim Green recently? Yeah, you know, the... There's, there is something up and I'm not going to just sit here and pretend that there's nothing up and I'm not going to sit here and pretend that everything's just been normal for the last few months. It hasn't been. Something is up. You're right. Something is up and I'm hopefully going to talk about it and explain it um, as, as clearly as I, as I possibly can. I don't like to just talk for the sake of hearing my own voice talk. I don't like to just, you know, start a live stream and just start yammering on and on and on. I like to be uh, very crystal clear. I like to be very deliberate with the words that I use. And so I've been kind of like thinking, well, what? I don't even know really what I'm going to say tonight. I haven't really practiced this. There's just some things that need to be said in there and they're going to be said and there will be because of because of Jeremy V, there will be a timestamp for it as well. But let me give you a real quick rundown. Let me give you a real quick rundown. And hey, you can't hide from me in the chat. Bearded Vape God? Yeah, I see you. The big hello is a dead giveaway. Earn, Base for Life, LJ, Frank's here, Zeppo, Billy Rice. Billy Rice with a new picture. Demented Designs. It's the Wiz. Janine's here. Green Eyed Lady's here. Hell yeah. Mike D's here. Lady Liberty. Jeremy M. Yum, yum. Uh, the five minute hold screen was of our very own three keys tattoo, AKA Slater tattooing. Just, I mean, not tattooing, but drawing, uh, drawing the chowd, the, the, the chowd chicken. Wait, hang on. Where's the chowd chicken? Yeah. Drawing the chowd chicken that sits proudly above the vlog logo. Slater drew the chowd chicken. Uh, the chowd chicken's probably going to end up on stickers, maybe on a t-shirt or something. I don't really know. <laughs> I don't really know. It's going to go somewhere, you know. It's just too cool to not to not put anywhere. So it has to go somewhere. But welcome. Face meat, soft carrots, mother trucking, Patrick Conquest, pants, chef Seamus. Don't, don't worry. I'm going to I'm going to be making an example out of you again tonight, Chef Seamus. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I shouldn't have even said that. But I am going to drop your name a few times. Anyway, let me give you a real quick rundown as far as what's coming up. I wanted to say hello. I do want to drink a beer. We do have some What I've Been Vaping. We got some Assignment America. We're going to talk about what's up with Grim Green. Uh, I do have some U.S. news. We got a wicked sick retro vape that I'm terrified of. I haven't seen Sewer Rug here in the chat yet. But if Sewer Rug's here, even if he's not, even if he's not, I'm still doing it. I'm still doing it. The, it, the time is now for this retro vape. The time is now. <laughs> 
I'm really not looking forward to this retro vape at all. <laughs> it's gonna be a it's gonna be a nightmare, isn't it? It's just gonna be a nightmare. What's up, Jeremy Williams? What's up, Jimmy Grant? I see you there. Hell yeah, drip theory. What's up, tribal Buddha? I see you guys. You can't hide from me. Um, no, I'm I'm not. I'm, I'm I'm not moving to the UK at this time. I'm not moving to this the, the UK at this time. <laughs> I'm not moving to the UK at this time. Um, I don't foresee that ever happening. I'm not trying to give anybody in the UK any hope like, oh, maybe Grim Green will someday move to the UK. I have no plans. I have no plans to uh, to, to move to the UK. Um, so yeah, we got some news. We got a retro vape. Uh, I want to talk about some US news. We'll do a retro vape. I want to talk about some Australia news because Australia is fascinating to me right now. Fascinating to me right now. We are going to do a very random liquid tasting. We might have a contest at the very end of the stream tonight. Should we do a contest tonight? If we don't run long, the reward is a contest, okay? If we don't run long, the reward is a contest. Because I got, you know, a Type 2 RTA and a Pure Max that just, I don't need them. I don't need them. They should go somewhere. <laughs> they should go somewhere. Steve-O, you sick? Ah, oh, fuck, man. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, man. Get to feeling better, Steve-O. Get to feeling better. I mean, I, we got some Steve-O squonkers in the uh, <laughs> in the uh, Assignment America tonight. Move to Indonesia. Listen, Jundi, first I have to visit Indonesia before I make any decision <laughs> about moving. I'm not moving. That's not the news tonight. Like the Grim Green related news tonight is not, it doesn't have anything to do with, uh, with moving or, or anything like that. Nothing moving. No, there's, there's nothing big and dramatic. You know, there's no. There's not going to be any drama tonight. I have no interest in that. It's such a fucking waste of time. Drama. So no, there's not going to be any of that tonight. But I, but in all seriousness, I am doing my serious face in the thumbnail, and I'm doing my serious face right now. If I could be serious for a moment, there is something I would like to discuss. There's something I would like to discuss, but there you go. Damn it. That's the vlog. Let's just get into it. I'm ready to have a beer. I hope everybody's feeling good tonight. Not moving, not moving, <laughs> not moving tonight, not moving, not announcing any, any sort of moving or anything like that. It's just, see, this is one of those things. This is like the youth vaping epidemic. People just keep saying it and then people are going to be believing it and be like, I heard Nick's moving to Australia. What, where, what, what? <laughs> where, 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 where did you hear this? No, 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 no. As much as a fan that I am of bicycles and electronic bicycles, which I am a huge fan. No, no, that, I have no interest in that. Are we calling out the punishers? <laughs> you guys, you guys crack me up. No, the first thing we're going to do tonight is uh, I need a beer. I just need to get a beer into my system. So let's go. Hey Let's now, go. hey now, this is the beer. This is the beer we're having tonight. This is, you know, I say things like, oh, it's one of my favorite beers of all time. I say that a lot, but I think if I had to really narrow it down to like a top five beer, this would be a top five beer. This would be, I'm definitely not moving, psychopathic game. <laughs> definitely not moving. I heard Nick's moving to Australia. Is that true? This is in my top five favorite beers on the history of beerdom. This is one of the best beers on the surface of the earth. It's a clone of a really other popular beer, but this, it's the St. Bernardus. It's ABT 12. It's the, uh, it's the beer that's brewed by monks and it's delicious. And man, I like a good, uh, I like a good monk brewed beer. You know, there's something about them. Those Belgian monks, they know what they're doing. They just do, and there's no way around it. Yeah. So uh, it's a Belgian quad, essentially, and it's a clone of one of the most heart, 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 hard, hard, 
hard beers to get. It's one of the most renowned beers. It's called Westy 12. It's called West Vliteran 12. And it's a Belgian beer brewed by monks, except the Westy monks, they only brew enough beer to f like fund their monastery to keep it going. Whereas the St. Bernardus monks, they just, it's a business. You know, they just brew. They just brew like crazy. So they make this flavor of beer readily, uh, kind of readily available. Wow. That is filthy. Look at that disgusting head. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, it was, it's kind of a clone, I should say. There was some, you know, there's a whole history of Belgian beer and monks that you can read about, but there were some pretty like sought after beer recipes. And one of the recipes became Westy 12 and a, supposedly a copy of the recipe using lesser ingredients is what became the St. Bernardus ABT 12. Instead of a Westy 12, we get the ABT 12, which kind of signifies that it was a clone of the other beer recipe with the, you know, Belgian yeasts and the such as. Uh, I just love it. This is a Belgian quad. It's a big syrupy beer. It's spicy. It gives me some citrusy notes in there, but there's a lot of uh, complexity. There's so much depth here. Cheers. I can try to reach you. Oh, there it is. Cheers. I hope you got something delicious to drink tonight. Doesn't have to be beer. Could be a Fanta. This is a good beer. This is just an unbelievable beer. It's molassesy. It's syrupy, and it's got a big mouthfeel, but it's it's really carbonated. Too much head? Yeah. <laughs> that was. We're back to a more reasonable level now. We're back to a more reasonable level now. I didn't rinse out this glass. That's the problem. I just pulled it out of the cupboard. I threw beer in there. I didn't rinse it out. Damn. Bummer. It's a bummer. It's delicious. It's delicious. I can't get enough of this. Like I said, low notes. It's real. Like I sometimes get a blueberry flavor from it. I sometimes get like a syrupy, like maple syrup, molasses sort of flavor from it. It's delicious. It's thick. It's stouty. And it's, I don't know, I like it because it's a little bit more carbonated than a lot of other Mexican Coke. Water? Say, look, stay hydrated. That's important too. But it, wow, that's an incredible beer. I have nothing to pair it with. <laughs> this, this could work. This could work, right? Some paradigm shift, some twisted Timmy's paradigm shift. It's like a waffle cone. I think it's got some like lower notes in there. I don't know if guava would jam with it. I don't know if grape would go with it. I don't know if that beignet. Guava definitely won't. Mango definitely won't. Strawberry definitely won't. So I think our only choice, I think our only hope, <laughs> Twisted Timmy's. Let's give it a shot, Timmy. Yeah. Damn. That's good. That is a good ass pairing right there. Those complement each other so well so well that waffle that like molassesy flavor in the waffle this is a good pairing this is like the this is like the top pairing of 2024 right now someone needs to remind me that the top pairing of 2024 was in march it was at the end of march and it was twisted timmy's and saint bernardus Busting. I mean, that's what I would say. That's how I would describe this. Straight up busting. Twisted Timmy's, it's, it's a good ass liquid anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Woo. All right, St. Bernardus. Well, this is a 10 percenter, so I'm going to try to chug it for some liquid courage for later. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to chug that. You don't chug, chug that sort of deliciousness. You sip. You savor. Cinnamon Toast Crunch would be awesome with this, Nathan. Hell yeah. I, w I wish I had. I'm going to try out this beignet real quick. I'm going to try out this beignet. I haven't stuck with the Nixamide experiment. On Tuesday, on the Vape Fiddle on Twitch, we opened up 
a bottle of the Nixamide liquid, and I was vaping it out of this big ass RDA, and I didn't stick with it. <laughs> I vaped it and vaped it and vaped it and stopped and went right back to nicotine. I was like, okay, I'll give it another shot. And then I vaped it and vaped it and vaped it and vaped it and stopped and went immediately back to nicotine. And I'm like, okay, well, maybe there's like a little bit of an adjustment period. Maybe I really need to stick with it for more than like a few hours, you know? More than a few hours. But let's try this Nixamide beignet with the uh, St. Bernardus. I don't know. It's kind of okay. This beignet flavor is not great to begin with. It's, it's pretty okay. It's a pretty okay beignet. <laughs> it's a pretty okay beignet flavor. It leaves a weird... And, and I don't know if it's the nixamide, but something leaves a weird flavor in my mouth. Yeah, yeah. That'll happen, drip theory. Ch chugging Belgians, f foamy vomit. Yeah, yeah, that'll happen. <laughs> it's the nixamide, I think. Sorry, I just got completely sidetracked. When I see foamy vomit pass by in the chat, I'm like, well, wait, 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 what's he talking about? Oh, foamy vomit. Oh, okay, okay. Foamy vomit. <laughs> I didn't stick in there with the Nixamide. I think it has a weird flavor, but I don't know if that's just the liquid. So I may open another bottle of the Nixamide liquid soon and something else other than like a bakery beignet type of flavor. Yeah, but I was trying to stick with it. Like only use this, only use this. But it's got, I think it's the... I can't tell. I can't tell what's going on there. It's kind of a weird flavor. It's kind of, it's, I can't explain it. I need to vape it much more, much, much more. We don't immediately find it as satisfying as just old school, traditional Nick. Like, give me some non-salt. That's awesome. That's awesome. <coughs> Pardon me. <laughs> okay, pardon me. Well then, well then, now then, we got a beer. We got a beer in our system. Uh, I'm going to feed the dogs actually right now. This is perfect timing. Uh, we're going to check in with a uh, kitchen guy. I believe there is a kitchen guy hanging out, just waiting to talk about some things that have been vaping. And then uh, we're going to get, we're going to get back here. So let's throw it to, uh, I don't even know if he's right. Kitchen guy. I don't know if he's ready. Hey, I'm just going to throw to him. What I've been vaping. Yeah, well, the kitchen guy station out here in the kitchen is growing and expanding every single day. Not, not only do I have, you know, a bunch of vapes, my shed time station, but my iPad is out here. My laptop has made it out here. So lots more work is getting done out here in the kitchen, which means, look, it means that kitchen guy just steals a lot more stuff from the office. I've tried to set this up in front of me in like the, the frequency of use. So things that I use less are farther away from me. So I'm reaching back to the cornbread pudding. It's just uh, hasn't been getting a shit ton of use. This is one of those vapes over the last week that has become that. Uh, it's just I every once in a while, just every once in a while, I'll pick it up, give it like five or six good rips. Think about how much I like the Matterhorn. Think about how much I love Kent's new RDA. Think about how much I love the cornbread pudding. And I go, yeah, that's awesome. And then I just put it away for like another two or three days. It won't get a vape. Still tastes awesome. Still vapes rad. Still a good mech. Still a good RDA. Also back here, and I think it's because of the P22 and it's peculiar, I guess I will say airflow. I still don't get it to like whistle consistently, but it does have some like tones to it and some like airflow feelings to it. Just hasn't been getting a shit ton of use. Strawberry swirls on the inside, still delicious. Sometimes at the very, very end of the drag and sometimes at the very, very beginning of the drag is when I'll hear like what could be considered a, like a whistle. 
Maybe not. Maybe it didn't happen that time. This battery is just completely dead. Can't even vape it. But it's uh, the flux tank that Beecher set up with his pony on acid. The battery literally says 2%. So I'm going to see how much of this 53 watts I can get. Nothing. Now we're going to get into some things that have been getting actually a lot more use. I got a dirty battery wrap, but that's the Raga with the freshly rewicked Nitsu on the inside still with that Lunar Sweet Mango from Indonesia. I mean, get out of here. So delicious. So delightful. Love the Nitsu. Been really into this recently because it's so super random. This is the RDA for vaping V1 with a gigantic five millimeter single coil in there that came out to a 0.8. I've been running it on the Fenrir Dual 21700 series box mod. There's some Frank and Atticus peachy pear on the inside. Really delightful. I mean, this is a straight up delightful vape. It's warm and it's crispy and it's really flavorful, but it's not as like series as, you know, we expect series to be. Generally, people, myself, will run series with like a point two five, maybe a point three, maybe a point three five, and it's a really warm, like rowdy vape. This is way more chill. This is a way this is the most chill, flavorful series vape I've ever had. It doesn't hurt that that flavor is freaking delicious. Um, there's a few pods out here. The Argus G2 getting put through its paces. We're just now rounding. Hang on, let me check. We're, we're just now rounding about 400 puffs. The flavor is great. It's a little bit heavy for hands-free, but I'm still relatively enjoying it. These Argus pods, no, I'm not going to ruin the review. These are still in review, but they vape exactly like every other Argus pod that I, like I've ever had. They vape uniquely to other pods, but we'll, we'll cover that in the review. There's a Pure Max out here, and this is, so far, this has been the king Pure Max. I've had none, not even a molecule of moisture, liquid, anywhere that it's not supposed to be, not on the bottom, not on the sides, not anywhere, not in the battery. This Pure Max has been honestly nothing but flawless. Last week, I got that Asmodus Minikin, pod in the mail, started the review for it. It's currently going through the process, you know, being put through its paces. We're only at about 151 puffs right now, but I've been running this at 12 watts, 0.8 ohm coil. It's nice. It's not, I'm going to save this for the review. It's a real nice mouth to lung, but it's not like my favorite. I don't know. I don't forget. I said anything, forget. I said anything. We'll just wait for the review. The flavor's real nice on this. And then the thing that has been getting, I mean, the most use out of all the things that have been getting the most use, I'm just as surprised as you are. It's the, it's the brick. It's the Ragnarok from Def Mods. It's the big 5,550 Ma 1S LiPo-powered Boro device. I have the Vape Snail in here. I have some 6 milligram Omboy Mango in here. Giant ass super dorky drip tip from uh, Tribal Buddha. I love this. Straight up love it. I didn't think I would, and I kind of don't know why I do. It just all came together. The vape snail, the big battery, the big like hand feel of this, which by the way, isn't as big as you as you think it is. It just looks really big, but it feels nice in the hand. It's lightweight. I like using it. It's so satisfying. Everything came together, the bridge, the liquid, the device. I have one complaint about this device, but I think we'll save that for the review. If anyone's curious, that is a 0.5 single coil, at, just at 40 watts. This battery has been going for one day already, and I've taken 5% off of it. We're down to 95% battery life. I think with like a mouth to lung, that would last for like a month. <laughs> and that's all from me, from uh, Kitchen Guy, uh, Living Room Couch Guy, nothing out there, rarely anything ever out there anymore. So I'm gonna throw it back to Desk Guy because there are some hashtag desk warriors. Desk Guy, go! Hey, did you say Couch Guy? Wait, what's that, my dude? Did you say Couch Guy? No. Oh. <laughs> 
couch guy always thinks he hears his name. Hey, did you say couch guy? No, bro. We never say couch guy. Between me and kitchen guy, we got this covered. We got all this covered. Let's talk about some desk warriors that I got going. Uh, this is the best thing. <laughs> the Argus P2, a uh, little cocoa version. I, I like everything about it. I like the way it vapes. I like the weight of it. I like the lights on it. You want to see the lights? The lights right now, that's in battery level indicator mode. If I press and hold, we can turn the LEDs completely off. Welcome to the review of the Argus P2. And then if we hold it again, it goes to multicolor happy lights. Multicolor happy lights. And so uh, that's fun. And that's a great vape. This getting a shit ton of use because it's just, it's here. It's easy to grab. It's full of a flavor that I really, really love. It's that uh, cookie, the cookie, the fried cookie from Hex Juice and Coil Turd out of Indonesia. <laughs> yeah. It's so tasty in there and so crazy flavorful. Uh, you saw the Twisted Timmy's. This has been getting uh, tons of use. <laughs> the grape flavor on the inside of the Minikin uh, uh, b -d -b -d -b -d Barrage RDA combo sent so graciously by... Um, he, I just didn't, the name just escaped my brains. Oh God. I can't, I can't, I can't, it's completely gone. I'll think of it. I'll think of it. I'll think of it and thank him later. But this was a gift. This was a gift. This was a gift. It has been getting a ton of use with the, you know, it's the purple nurple. What's not to love about the purple nurple? Delicious. That shit is just delicious. Um, this big guy that you saw. It's uh, the Haiti, I believe, new from uh, Mike over there at Vape and Delights. It's a big 30 millimeter banger. We put some, uh, let's see, we put some uh, two and a half millimeter. No, those are three millimeter coils in there. Two three millimeter coils. Those cotton wicks are dry. And I've been using that Nixamide liquid in here exclusively, exclusively the Nixamide liquid. And it's been, I don't know, okay. The RDA is great, and I get a ton of crackle from these coils. Thank you, Drip Theory. Thank you, Drip Theory. Something about that flavor. Something about that flavor that has a weird little, weird, like, little weird flavor to it. I can't quite get what's going on. But I love the crackle from the coils, so I continue to use it. Um, I've still been trying to crank through the mouth to lung tall boy like crazy. I'm almost to the point. Whoa, there's leaking. What's happening, tall boy? Where'd you come from? Where'd you come from? There's liquid. This is the first time I've seen liquid in the tall boy, like outside of the tall boy. All right. Well, that's weird. That's a weird spot to get liquid. Okay. Well, I'm still trying to vape through that. I haven't even got through the top tank yet. I got a 0.4 uh, shift sub uh, tank. Thank you, V8DV. Billet box. Restricted lung. Hella. Yep, yep. Super chats are next. And then uh, this mouth to lung and this mouth to lung. These mouth to lungs have been battling for mouth to lung supremacy. This is the steam shell with the tall boy that I've been trying to get through as well. And this is the sturdy one in mouth to lung with a one millimeter in a new fuck dot mod, uh, white AIO busting. Both of these setups busting mouth to lung. I'm a fan. Will, it was Will. Will Boyles. Will Boyles. Will Boyles. Thank you, Georgia boy. Thank you, Georgia boy. Aye, Georgia boy. Aye, love you. Aye, Georgia boy gaming. Georgia boy does gaming on Twitch. You should go follow Georgia boy on Twitch. Delightful mouth to lung. Very equally but slightly different mouth to lung, and those are good. 
I have some other things on my desk, like the Danny V3 is still here, but it's not getting a lot of use. The the Gar, this hasn't been getting a ton, ton of use, which I upsets me. Because it's so good. Flavor's so good. The Gar is so good. And the DS, the DripTech DS has finally made its way to the back of my desk where I have to reach really far to get it and it just doesn't get a lot of use. So I'm at the point where too many things are set up right now. Just <laughs> way too many things are set up right now and I have to do some severe, some severe cleaning. Let's, uh, let's check in real quick with those Super Chats, huh? Too long. We're already running long. We're already running long. Oh, dang. Thanks, you guys. You, oh, you don't have to super chat. There's never any obligation. I appreciate that. Chef Seamus says, wait, so you're telling me oatmeal raised this cookie? <laughs> yes, raised it from a, from a little sapling, <laughs> from a little sapling. Yo, yo, and welcome, everyone. It's MTVD. Take off your shirt, get in the pit, and let's party. Fucking Chef Seamus. Appreciate you, pimp. Georgia boy, I grim, I, I grim, I love you, bro. Hope to be in the hangs tonight if I get home from the hospital. I just wanted to tell you you're awesome. Oh, Georgia boy, I hope everything's okay. I hope you get home from the hospital and you're feeling good and we get to hang out tonight. Damn, bro. All my love, Georgia boy. Hungry Hippo, 308. Yo, yo, cool kids. Heard you're moving to Australia. <laughs> Enjoy the outback. <laughs> uh, no, I, I'm, I'm not moving to Australia. I'm actually not moving anywhere. I'm staying right put. <laughs> staying right put in, uh, in in good old California. I'm just going to stay here. It's, it's a pretty great place. Zeppo, I won't be able to be here for the thing you need to talk about, but just know I love you, bro. We all do. We're here for you. I, you know, I, 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 I never, I never doubt that ever, Zeppo. Never, never, ever. I, I, I could, couldn't possibly ever doubt that, Zeppo. Love you too, man. Appreciate you. Didi. Didi, damn it. Uh, love the chowed chicken. Just clucking away. Clucking chicken. See what I did there? Fist bumps all around. I see what you did there. I see what you did there. Just clucking some chowds. Just dead rabbit V2. We're going to cluck some chowds. This is the best RDA on the desk, I think, right now. The barrage, pretty great. Recoil, look, it's awesome. But the Dead Rabbit 2, where did this come from? Came out of nowhere, just ruled all of a sudden. Anyway, yeah, I love clucking some chowds. All about some cloud chucking. Sorry, some chowed clucking. <laughs> Whoa. TT Vape. Here's to Couch Guy. He gets bullied sometimes, and I think if you give him a chance, he might be a pretty cool dude. TT <laughs> oh, Vape, you're giving. I'm having sympathy now for Couch Guy. Oh man, you mean we have to be nice to Couch Guy now? We have to be nice to Couch Guy. I can't just keep pestering him with lawsuits because I made him sign an NDA. We have to be nice to Couch Guy. Damn. All right. Well, here's the thing. Justice for couch guy. I'm down. I'm down. Manor manners cost nothing, as uh, I was once told in my life. Manners cost nothing. Sidetracked. I hate that you gave me sympathy for someone who doesn't exist. <laughs> that messes with me. I feel legitimately sorry for couch guy now. <sighs> TT, how did you do that? Sidetracked. It's very gracious of you. Uh, my tenant's lease in Perth, Australia is up for renewal. Um, has a room my ex used as a studio. Oh, so you're saying I have a place to live when I move to Australia, when I definitely move to Australia this year? Um, appreciate that. Listen, sidetracked. I, I very appreciate that. I might hit you up. Unlucky Jimmy Grant calling me out. No more push-ups. Yo, yo. -ay. Um, yeah, here's the thing. I for a lot of reasons that we may even get into tonight a little bit. I haven't felt very motivated to uh, really better myself in any way. You know, I, I try to feel motivated to make myself the best person that I can be for the people around me. Um, and then it, I find it, uh, you know, I don't know. 
I, I don't I just don't have any motivation. And so I I stopped working out. I stopped running. I stopped doing push ups. I stopped riding my bike. I literally stopped doing everything. Um, Casey and I had a conversation about this about a week ago where we decided we're, we're going to go back to doing to working out. We're going to exercise and we're going to take, you know, a few times every day away from work to exercise and do push ups. And right now I can do about three full push ups on my toes and I can do, you know, substantially more on my knees, but I'm trying to look, I'm trying to re rework back up my strength, you know, I'm trying to rework up back my strength. So no more push-ups for right now. But I, I, when I when I'm able to do like a solid 10, then we'll bring push-ups back. OK, then we'll bring push-ups back. But I feel foolish right now. I feel silly not even being able to do like three solid push-ups. You know, it's just I, I don't know. You know, I can't explain it. Maybe I'm depressed. Who knows? You just, I, you know, you, you I was on a good path and then something happens and I'm like, nope, fuck this. I'm going to eat McDonald's on the couch. And then, then, and then that happens day after day, after day, after day, after day. And you go, Hey, remember exercising? Remember push-ups? I don't <laughs> face meat. I'll always remember face meat, dry oatmeal. Thank you. Face meat. I appreciate you, bro. I hope you're doing really well. I hope you're doing exceptionally well right now. Highly irrelevant sidetrack says, there is a cane toad in my toilet. This really just brings up more questions than it answers. How? Why? Where? Who? Who, I think, is the big one. Appreciate you, Sidetracked. Hope you take care of that uh, <laughs> cane toad. Gaddafi throwing me some horns. Thank you, Gaddafi. And then we got Jake Scrapwood here. Plausible theory. I heard desk guy offered couch. Heard. Plausible theory. Okay, let me let me read this like an adult. Heard desk guy offered couch guy. Kitchen guy helped dig the hole. In, oh, oft. Oft couch guy. I heard desk guy. Oft couch guy. Kitchen guy helped dig the hole in the backyard with Murphy. Bathroom guy <laughs> has a solid alibi. Jake, that sounds like a crazy conspiracy theory to me. There's literally no evidence of that. But it is plausible. It is a little bit plausible, isn't it? Isn't it? I can neither confirm nor deny these allegations against my client. Uh, Ramp X Gaming, that's very gracious of you. Yo, yo, Nick, your care package is almost ready. Let's hope that South Africa Postal isn't full of it. Love you, Mr. Green. Hey, love you, Ramp X. Stoked. Stoked to get something from South Africa. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah, care package. Thank you. Thank you, Rampex. Thank you, truly. Metal Morrissey, this is a super chat. Correct. Correct, Skeletor. Meh. Appreciate you, Metal Morrissey. Hey. Appreciate you. Hey. Love you. Let's check in on the uh, the old Hella chats. Didn't even need to be reminded. Not even once. This is it. This is a whole new Grim Green. Uh, raw Chuck, uh, very, very gracious of you, Raw Chuck. Franco, Franco Path, yo, yo, I appreciate that subscription. Cicero, thank you, I appreciate that subscription. Raw Chuck says, please don't move to Australia. Everything there is po poisonous and bites, including the, me <laughs> including the meter maids. <laughs> Everything there is poisonous and bites. It's a good thing Bogan got out when he did. Or maybe he's just on a rampage across the UK biting people with his poisonous Bogan teeth. Plausible. Yeah, plausible theory. <laughs> Raw Chuck says, uh, if we need to adjust it, Nixamide requires dual use until fully switched over. At least we have it in our arsenal in case we need it. Yeah, absolutely. A absolutely, I agreed. Nixamide is a viable thing, is a viable thing. I can feel it. I can sense it, uh, you know, and it it's going to require maybe some dual using, maybe some exclusive using until I like get acclimated. But I really want to, I really want to vape it. I really want to try it out. Like, I mean, <laughs> this is just a, you know, a, a product of the illicit market of the bad vape regulations. Imagine that if we all just suddenly started using Nixamide and all of these liquids and we all love Nixamide suddenly. And now FDA is like, well, 
Well, now we want to regulate that. Sorry, can't. It's nixamide. <laughs> Sorry, can't. Nixamide. Anyway, I like how resourceful the illicit market is. I really like. I really like how resourceful the illicit market is. <laughs> it's it's my favorite thing. All right, we got. Whoa, we got more. Wait, hang on, Patrick Conquest pants. I feel the no motivation. I call it no mo. Yeah, scored a six or something called Magic Hat by Electric Peel Brewing. I'll give it a review in the hangs. I get that. All right, cool man. I want. I can't wait for that review. No mo. Yeah, no mo happens frequently. No mo happens frequently more than I'd like it to. You know. Um, Tribal Buddha says my daughter Paige is ecstatic that you grew the goatee back. You made her day. Well, it was uh, it was a matter of time. You know, it was it was long overdue. I was looking back at some like old, old Grim Green stuff from like old ECCs and old videos and stuff. And I saw a picture that had like this goatee that was like sick and long and it had like a gray streak in it. And I was like, yeah, that, I want that back. So it's coming in, it's coming in purely aesthetic. You know, I just, I get bored. This is the only area that hair grows on my face. So I can do any number of infinite combinations, including a mustache or a goatee or a mustache and a goatee or a handlebar or a, you know, that's the combinations I can do. And so this, this coming back, it's a return to form. It's a return to a, a little bit of a classic grim green look. Frames Janklin. Fuck yeah, Frames Janklin. You and me, Godzilla, X-Kong, Saturday. Let's go. Frames, I'm pumped. I am so pumped. I'm pumped to see this movie. I'm pumped. I'm stoked to hang out. I'm stoked to go see Godzilla. 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 Yeah, we're going to see Godzilla on Saturday. Godzilla Kong. Can't wait. So pumped. So pumped. Anyway, thank you guys for those super chats, man. There's never any obligation, but I always really very, very do appreciate that. Um, real quickly, we'll do some Assignment America. I think, I think I would love to do some Assignment America. You want to hear it again because it's so nostalgic? America, this is you. It is. It's just nostalgia. It's just nostalgia to the bone. So, you guys, we covered what I've been vaping, but this is the segment where I get to talk about what you guys have been vaping. I always want to see your bangers. I want to see what keeps you off of cigarettes. I want to see your pride and joy. I want to see your daily bangers. No matter how nice, how run down, how beater they are, I want to see them. I want to see them. You guys don't even, these, these are miracle products. Every time I see someone hand checking anything or a picture on Instagram, I'm like not smoking cigarettes, not smoking cigarettes, not smoking cigarettes. I want to see all of this beautiful technology that keeps us all not smoking cigarettes. Send them over to me, nick at grimgreen.com, please, please. But uh, poor Steve-O is uh, under the weather right now, but we showed off Steve-O's sick mech squonk collection, but oh, there's more. Uh, uh, there's some more. Here's an update on Steve-O's Mech Squonk collection. He says, thanks for showing off my Mech Squonk collection. Here are the two others that you wanted to see I picked up since sending that. Uh, another mum's plug with an anodized galaxy body and some more sexy stab acrylic panels, Citadel RDA on top. So sick. So sick. And the Hellfire Cobra with the cracked lava pattern, uh, wicked Wick, Wick two, Wick two RDA on top of that, which I've never got to try. And I really want to try it. Steve-O says, believe it or not, they all cycle through my daily rotation regularly. I find it super satisfying and fun to just swap RDAs around on them, change up with different colored caps, beauty rings, drip tips, squonk bottles. There's so many combinations and possibilities. I find a lot of joy in it. Aside from DIYing my own liquids, it's another aspect of this hobby that not only made quitting smoking fun, but also helped me stay sober. I'll be five years removed from both this summer. Hell yeah, Steve. Oh, big dove to you in the Grim Army. Thanks for being part of my journey. Steve-O, these are sick. That mum's plug with that door and the matchy, matchy drip tip. Steve-O, that is really doing it for me. I mean, <laughs> in a big way, that's doing it for me. Don't get me wrong. The other squonker, ah, that's cool. But that mum's plug, 
That's sick. That is sick. Uh, I believe this person's, I'm not going to pronounce this person's name right, but let's get this picture up here. This person's name is Akbar, A-K-H-B-A-R. I believe that's Akbar and then Bimanthara, Bimanthara. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I'm bad with names and I apologize, but Akbar sent this in and says, Hey Nick, here's my current daily bangers. Sorry for the bad photo. A, this is not a bad photo. This is a solid photo. I just don't know what anything is. That looks like a relic RBA inside of a green stubby. And then that looks like the MS bridge from Monarchy inside of something rad as hell. What device is that? I, I legitimately do not know. It's got an exposed battery. It uh, looks like white Delrin. Looks rad. Whatever it is, it looks rad. I have no idea. And then my eyes are immediately drawn to the uh, Korean drips. What is that? Mandarin mango gorilla. I want that. <laughs> I need to taste that. I need to taste that Korean drips like right now, Akbar. Anyway, thank you so much. Um, we got Brandon. Hey now, Brandon. We got Brandon S. sending in an email right now. He says, uh, I watched a video of you making coils, alien coils the other night. He says, I've been making, whoops. He says, I've been making uh, Fuse Claptons for a couple of years. Your video inspired me to learn how to make aliens. So I did it. This is my first successful set of alien coils I made yesterday. Installed them on the RDA for vaping V2. Take it easy, bro. Brandon S. Hell yeah, first aliens. Those first aliens, Brandon, Brandon, are worlds better, worlds better than the first aliens that I ever did. Those are some good looking aliens, Brandon. Solid ass aliens. And then he attached another picture. It just said, here's my big ass wall of vape. I, I love this. I don't know what's up here. That's a detonator with a QP on top. If we're going from left to right, that's an I don't know with an I don't know. That's a stacked something that I don't know could be uh dreamers there's a box mod with a steam crave there's a box mod with a steam crave I don't know what those are there's another stacked I don't know there's another mech I don't know next to that there's another regulated I don't know with some sort of RDA that I don't know is on top <laughs> uh there is definitely an Odin on the bottom with something a gar a naked gar, a geek vape with something, another geek vape with something. I think that's the blotto. I love the wall of vape. I love the wall of vape. I love the like completely out of context wall of vape. Like just guess what's up here. How good are your IDing eyeballs? How quickly? Harpy? Is that a harpy? Aren't harpies box mods? Maybe I'm crazy. And then lastly... Uh, no, there was no email or anything attached to this because of the, the method that it came through. V8, V8, are you in the chat? V8DV uh, sent this in. That's a recoil rebel on top of an I don't know. That is a jackaroo with a tank on top that I don't know what it is. That is a gold and red stubby Iron Man style. That's an empire with a reload on top and a honking tall drip tip that I love. That's a side-by-side -side that I don't know what it is with an RTA that I don't know what it is. And then there's a purge mech on the end with an Asgard, I believe. That's an Asgard Copper Ronin Competition. Oh, stacks are unicorn mods. Okay, see, I go too fast. We need to go back in time to Brandon. Oh, okay, okay. The stacks are unicorns. That makes sense. That makes sense. That tracks. That looks like a unicorn. That looks like a unicorn. Back to V8. Hell yeah, V8. Appreciate you. Thank you for sending this in. It looks like you have a lot of good vapes. You know, it always looks like, you know, you're always on the lookout for something, but it seems like you got a rad collection as it is right now. As it is right now. Um... Dalton Beaver? Is it Dalton Beaver's birthday? I didn't write down any birthdays yet today. Did we sing them last week? I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah, that SBS I think looks sick. 
Oh, the TVS collab box. The shift tanks on the Jackaroo. Okay. Okay. That's the Digiflavor Z1 SBS? I kind of like that. I've never seen that before. What is it called? The Digiflavor what? Digiflavor... Oh, chat's already passed. Can't find it now. Damn. Uh, Z1 SBS. Digiflavor Z1. Oh, the Digiflavor Z1 side-by-side -side 80 watt starter kit. Yes, want it. Out of stock, fine. That's sick. I'm kind of bummed I never got to try that out. I'm kind of bummed I never got to try that out. Oh, well. Oh, well, anyway, that's it. That's Assignment America. Thank you guys for sending in your bangers. I want to see them always. You can email them to me, nick at grimgreen.com. Just mark your subject, Assignment Planet Globe. Chances are I will see the attachment. It will get downloaded. It will get filed. It will get used accordingly across this here live stream. So thank you guys so much. Thank you. You know, you don't have to, but you do. And it just makes my day. I appreciate you. Mark, you just sent your vape collection. Sick. Sick. Those Digiflavor Z1s are like 40 bucks. Sick. Sick. I like it. I'm all about it. Now... Uh, let's completely change the mood. Damn it. I knew this was coming and I didn't want to ign really acknowledge, I guess, that it was coming. But, uh, yeah, sure. Let's, let's, are you sure there's no more super chats? Huh? Do I? Uh, no. Okay. 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 I guess I do have to actually get into this. Oh no. Tribal Buddha. Okay. Yeah. There were some super chats. Tribal Buddha. Almost forgot my daughter's turn 14 next Tuesday, April 2nd. Add them to the birthday list. Hell yeah, birthday list. Tribal Buddha's daughters. Tribal Buddha's daughters. Tribal Buddha's daughters. That could be a jingle. If you ever need a jingle... I got you, Tribal Buddha. Appreciate you. Hell yeah, we'll sing happy birthday to them. Corey, Cody Taylor. Oh, I thought that said Corey Taylor for a second. I was like, holy shit, Corey Taylor. Okay, no. Cody Taylor. Cody Taylor. Still just as cool. Cody Taylor, uh, when you move to Outback Steakhouse, will you please turn it into a steak and vake with $5 RDA shots? Yes. That was totally my plan. Could you imagine if the someone bought an Outback Steakhouse, turned it into a vape shop called a steak and vape? Like, that's legitimately a genius idea. Go in, get... <laughs> Dwayne's texting me. I love you, Dwayne. I hope you're watching the stream. Babe Capital. <laughs> uh, Cody, yeah. That's a genius idea. Converting an Outback Steakhouse into a steak and vape. Unbelievable. Get some Wagyu. Get some, like, Wagyu steaks. Get some Wagyu steaks, and then the waiter comes over and goes, hmm, uh, would you like to sample any Omboy OC mango tonight? And you go, oh, yes. And you hold up your RDA, and they just drip it for you, and you go, hmm, hmm, delightful. <sighs> oh, yes, leave the bottle. Leave the bottle. I'll vape that. Oh, good. And you can just eat a steak and just cloud chase. That's the dream. That's the, that's the dream. That's the dream. Oh, Tribal Buddha. Oh, thank you. Thank you again. We got names. Page and Serenity. Done. Yes. Easily done, Tribal Buddha. So super, super easily done. So super easily done. Now, now, uh, uh, let me free the dogs and then I promise uh, I'll be right back. What's up with Grim Green lately? It's acting weird. 
what's up with Grim Green lately? He's acting weird. And, you know, I'm trying to play it off like a little bit playful. Um, but, you know, the truth be told, yeah, I know. I know. I, I've been a little bit out of sorts recently. I've been, you know, uh, a little scatterbrained kind of all over the place for, for various reasons. And it's not necessarily like one particular thing that's up with Grim Green. It's a lot of things all sort of compounding on each other. And that's what ultimately ends up being what's up with, with Grim Green lately. Um, something is up, you know, I, I said it earlier, but yeah, something is up and it's more than just it's more than just general stress of life. Like being an adult in 2024 is so dumb. It's so, so dumb. The, the level of dumb that it is, is way, way too high. There's just general stresses of life. Sure. Day-to-day -day stuff. Sure. Running a YouTube, trying to stay relevant on the internet. Yeah, that's, that's stress, but that's just general stress that happens that I kind of just deal with and keep my head down and keep working and keep having confidence in the things that I'm doing and, and continue running a, a, a mildly successful YouTube channel. You know, I never wanted to be Metallica. I'm fine being King's X. I don't, I, I don't care about being the most popular YouTuber or, or the most beloved YouTuber or anything like that. I've never cared about views. The only reason I've ever cared about views is because n n more people will be getting some good information about quitting smoking and starting vaping. And that's only been my, my mission. That's only ever been my mission. And, you know, one of the things that has really been like last week, and it happened, it's happened in the past. And last week I, I, I basically just bit Seamus's head off for no reason, <laughs> like no reason at all. I just snapped at someone in the chat and just like made an example out of them and made them feel not great. And I wasn't okay with how I made that person feel. And, you know, it was Seamus and thankfully, uh, the chef Seamus is, a, is a cool dude. And we, we got to DM and right after that, and he apologized and I apologized right away. I said, I was fucked up. I should not have reacted that way. And I, like, I genuinely don't know why I reacted that way. I get really, I, I, I care about, it feels like I care about too many things. Like I'm trying to care about too many things. And advocacy is something that I find personally really 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 very important like it is it's more important than anything else that we do it defending vape i can't think of something more noble than defending vape and defending harm reduction and helping people who smoke cigarettes who are currently smoking cigarettes who are right now on a path to emphysema copd lung cancer throat cancer strokes and heart disease and a myriad of other fucking diseases and that could all be stopped <laughs> like that can all be stopped if we just let vaping proliferate and we're getting stopped at every turn. And I take it like, I take it personally. There was a long time throughout a lot of 2016, a lot of 2017, a lot of 2018, like all bad vape legislation that happened in the States. I took it personally. Like I felt like it was a, f my failing. I felt like it felt like it was my failing. Like if we had just talked about it more, or if I had promoted the call to action a little bit more, or if I had made maybe a dedicated video for this one thing, maybe we could have avoided a flavor ban. Maybe we could have avoided taxes. Maybe we could have avoided this. Maybe we could have avoided that. Maybe we could have avoided usage bans. Maybe we could have avoided prescriptions. Maybe we could have avoided this if I had just worked a little harder, or if I had been a, a more effective advocate, or if I'd been a better advocate, these things could have been avoided. And I, I was for a long time, taking it really, really personally, it still really affects my mood. <laughs> you know, it still really, really heavily affects my mood when I read 
you know, when I read things like we're about to talk about that's happening in New York, it, it's, it's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking. In 2019, when, when all these shops were closing their doors, I, I like, I took that really hard. <laughs> I was like, man, all my friends are like, they're closing their shops. And you know, my heart was breaking for them. Sorry. My heart was breaking for them, for their customers, for the guy or girl or whoever, who maybe had just quit smoking and they went to the shop and they found their favorite liquid and they're like, wow, this is successful. And now I have a shop close by with my favorite liquids. I never have to smoke cigarettes again. And then that shop closes. And now that person's just what? Fuck you lost. Sorry. Go back to cigarettes. It kills me. It, it kills me what's happening with vaping in the United States and across the world. And maybe I care about it too much. You know, a, a big part of me, feels like I was lied to. <laughs> I feel like I was lied to as a youth because when you're, when you're young and you're in high school and you know, you kind of have the whole, the whole world in front of you and your whole life ahead of you. I, you know, I thought I was under the impression that you could change the world. I was under the impression that if you did good, that you could change the world for the better. But you can't, you can't. We were just lied to. I was lied to. You, you think you have a cause? You think you have a cause that's saving people's lives? Nope, special interests are gonna get in the way of that. The status quo is gonna get in the way of that. Oh, you thought you had a mission? You thought you had a cause in life? You thought you wanted to change the world for the better? You can't, you can't. We were lied to. And that doesn't mean I'm not gonna stop trying. And it doesn't mean I think it's useless. It just means that I have become a cynical person. And it's the one thing I never wanted to become was a cynical person, even at a very young age. Like in my early 20s, I'd talk to or watch or see cynical people and I'd be like, ooh, how do you get to that spot? How do you get to be so cynical like that? I'm here. Welcome. I made it. I never wanted to be here and it's just made me cynical and I hate how cynical all of this has made me. Dealing with FDA and dealing with idiots on the internet and dealing with doctors telling smokers that they'd be better off smoking. Ooh, it makes me actually insane. And so I hang on to a lot of that energy and, and it stays with me and it affects my mood and it makes me a little bit scatterbrained all over the place. And I just kind of sit back and I, and I, and I look at the world and I go, wow, <laughs> like, is it even possible to make, to make it a better place? Is it, is that even a possibility? I want to believe it's a possibility. I want to believe that we can make the world a better place. But when you try to make the world a better place, they just try to stop you and deter you and dissuade you at every step. And they try to beat you down and they will say lies about you and they will say lies about what we do and they will drag your name through the mud. And really just because I wanted to help some people quit smoking cigarettes with, with a very, very empirically scientifically proven way to do that. So, that is a lot of what's going on, but that doesn't even really begin to scratch the surface of what's going on. Because yes, all of those are things that affect me in my day-to-day -day life and make me a little bit scatterbrained and make me a little bit short-tempered sometimes because I can't stand when I, I turn on the news and I see a pulmonologist telling people not to vape because you could get you could get a lung injury do do we i mean is this a fucking clown world does i mean nothing fucking makes sense anymore it's unbelievable it's unbelievable 
And I've become way too fucking cynical and I hate it. I used to call myself an idealist. I used to call myself a pragmatic idealist. And I think that described it really well. And now when I describe myself, I just say I'm a curmudgeon cynical fucking bastard. Like that's what I've become. And I don't like it. I hate it. I literally hate it. And on top of all of that, just shit fucking sandwich, I still get to deal with the, the rest of like life of like, <laughs> you know, personal stuff, like personal family things are going on on top of me trying to be an advocate and taking every flavor ban so personally that I just gently sob in my bed at night and it keeps me up on top of all of that. There's like family things going on and there's just, there's, there's people on the internet and on YouTube that for some reason can't keep my name out of their goddamned mouths. And it's making me insane. It's actually going to break me, I think. Uh, the, the level of stuff that like I've been dealing with behind the scenes, away from the public eye, is some pretty, I mean, like it's some pretty intense family stuff. And I knew, I knew that 2024 is going to be a, a tough year to begin with going in on January 1st, fucking 2024. I know I knew that this was going to be a hard year to, to go through, to get through. Um, I, I, you know, I've talked, uh, I will be able to get through this. I will. I've talked a lot about, uh, you know, my family and, uh, my dad more specifically <laughs> dealing with uh, Parkinson's disease for the last fucking 30, 35 years, something like that. People don't have this disease for that long. I don't know if you've, I don't know if you've experienced anybody with really late stage Parkinson's disease after 35 years of it. But it's pretty heartbreaking, man. It's pretty heartbreaking. And so I know that 2024 is going to be a tough year because of that. And I know I know, I know, I know, I know beyond a shadow of a doubt that I'm going to lose my dad this year. And it's not like a metaphorical, like, oh, I just feel like, it, like I'm going to lose my dad this year. I know there's a date and out of, you know, some respect for my family and my dad and all of these decisions that had to have been made over the last couple months. That's all I'm really going to say, but we live in California, which thankfully has some really great dignified laws in the books. And it's a big, long process, but there's a, there's a date this year. And every day that passes, we're just another day closer to that date. And I don't get any days back. So there's been a lot of, yeah, I'm, I'm a little distracted, man. There's a lot of trips up to Santa Rosa happening. There just has been, and there continue to will be, there will be for a little bit. And there's been lots of phone calls like every other day, just chatting about stuff in life. And it's a real, it's a real mind fuck. 
And I'm not doing this for sympathy or for any other reason other than I respect you guys and you should know what's going on, man. You should know. I'm not trying to make this awkward or uncomfortable. That's what's up. That's what's fucking up with Grim Green these days. So I would appreciate uh, if other YouTubers in this space would keep my name out of their mouth. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. So that's what's up with Grim Green. I, I can't, I mean, that's, that. there it is, just raw, just hanging out there all pink and naked. It's a lot, I, I, there's just a lot of shit and I'm trying to be uh, not so fucking cynical these days and I'm trying to be, uh, you know, get my shit together and maybe do some push-ups. Maybe get better at reviewing things. But my focus has been on literally two things, and that is defending and protecting vaping at literally all costs and my family. And that's it. That's, that's where my focus is. Period. Straight up. Straight up, period. And I don't appreciate being talked about by other people, and I don't appreciate being lied about by other people. And so, yeah, 2024 is fucking getting off to be a tough year. And it's going to be a tough year, you know? And I want you guys to know that that's the backstory. And so as the year goes on, if, if Grim Green gets a little weird and scatterbrained, there's just that there's some context there, okay? On the other side of this is just a guy. It's just me. I'm just a guy. I shit like everybody else. When I'm hungry, I eat. When I'm thirsty, I drink water. I'm just a dude. And that's it. And I have uh, uh, my own deep life that I have my own fears and hopes and things that I that make me sad and things that make me happy. And just a little understanding, I think, goes a long way. And uh, my hope is... Uh, that we can get through this year and uh, still be in, a, in one, in, in a whole place. I Thank you. I, I apologize. I wasn't reading the chat, but thank you. I appreciate all that love. Green Eyed Lady, thank you, Jeremy M. You know, you, you know I'm not like, a, I'm not a praying guy, but I appreciate it a lot. Whew. Sorry. Sorry. So in a year, when I feel like there's been a lot of loss, and there's going to be more, <laughs> there's going to be personal, and there's going to be legislative vaping laws. That's, that's just what 2024 is going to be. And we have to just clench our teeth and power through. And I have to remember that the only reason I'm doing this is to stop people from smoking cigarettes just stop people from smoking cigarettes it's the worst and i want every smoker to feel that feeling of quitting that you know that feeling you know when you quit that feeling so so there it is there 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 you go that's that's what's up with grim green these days I'm trying to be the best version of myself and it's uh it's difficult and uh stressful and uh frustrating and uh a lot of things. It's a lot of things. And so, sorry, I didn't mean to switch the mood so so intensely like that. Um and now we have to talk about news. 
And now we have to talk about news. Ha, ah, unbelievable. Um, give me a sec. I'll be right back. I'm just going to go splash some water on my face. I'll be right back. some gta or what right now play some grand theft auto so thank you guys and again thank you guys thank you i can't i mean i can't i can't even say enough good things about you guys without getting all emotional we're just a fucking emo vlog tonight i'm just you know <laughs> i was trying to prevent this from happening I'm, I'm just grateful for the abundance. Despite everything, I'm still grateful. And I'm grateful for beer. So, shit, man. Now we got to talk about news. And that sucks. So, let, here, let's just do some really, really quick new U.S. news. There isn't a lot going on except for one giant thing. News, yeah. So what's happening in the United States is, I mean, obviously nothing good. There's a national vape tax coming. There's a national vape tax coming, you guys. This is, this is going to suck. If this goes through, it's really going to suck. National vape tax. I'll put a call to action link in the description. I would encourage it really everybody to do it. The PMTA registry bills are just blazing their way. They're just blazing their way across the United States. Um, Vermont passed it. Florida passed it. Hoping for uh, DeSantis veto there. Um, Ohio passed it. Uh, no, not Ohio. Uh, uh, Idaho? Idaho or Iowa? One of, the, <laughs> one of those two states also already passed their PMTA registry bill. And if you're in a state, yeah, let's look at the map. Let's see. Yeah, Idaho. Okay, so Idaho passed their PMTA registry bill. That's must that must have been who it was. Or it could have been Iowa. They're both yellow on there. Uh, they're both yellow on there. Oklahoma, Louisiana, Alabama, Wisconsin, Idaho, and uh Vermont have all passed their PMTA registry bills. These are essentially like big tobacco protection act bills. There's there's nothing else to them. It's just so that in every state, the only legal vapes you can have are ones made by Big Tobacco. Made and manufactured by Big Tobacco. Great. Yes. Addy Tooney. Yes. Let's all, let's all give some middle fingers to Rosenthal. About 50 of them. <whistles> About 60 of them. <whistles> yeah. Thank you, Addy Tooney. Hey, Addy Tooney, love you, man. Um, New York, this is, this is, this is the thing in the United States that I wanted to talk about. PMT registry bills, critical federal vape, federal vape tax, critical what's happening in New York. You don't even want to read this. You just don't New York law aims to ban e-cigs and vape pens without a doctor's prescription. Taking a page out of Australia's book there. I see. Well, that text was not meant for me. That was a booking confirmation for uh, something in Canada. New York aims to ban E6 vape pens without a doctor's prescription. Sounds familiar. The New York State Legislature is reviewing a bill that could significantly alter the accessibility of e cigs across the state, introduced by Assembly Member Rosenthal. That's right. Rosenthal only gets middle fingers. Just, just middle fingers for Rosenthal. 
Introduced by Assemblymember Rosenthal, Bill A00187 proposes that individuals must obtain a prescription from a licensed physician to purchase e-cigs. This legislative model seeks to amend public health law incorporating a new section, 1399D, to enforce this requirement. Under the proposed legislation, e-cigs would be classified in the same manner as defined in Subdivision 13 of Section 1399AA of Public Health Law. This bill stipulates that only individuals over 18 possessing a valid prescription prescription from a licensed physician will be allowed to acquire electronic cigarettes. I can't think of a better way to tell smokers to go fuck off and die than making e-cigs a prescription model. Good God, New York. Good God. That is clown shoes, Ern. <laughs> oh my God, that is clown shoes. The Department Health Commissioner is tasked with developing the rules and regulations that enforce this new section safely. This uh, initiative reflects the state's efforts to regulate uh, the use and distribution of electronic cigarettes more strictly aligning with broader public health objectives. Yeah, definitely some broad health public health objectives there by making vaping prescription only. Awful. That's just awful, you know? And a few years ago, I would have uh, probably taken that a lot more personally than I am right now, but now I have the somewhat of the ability to look at it and go, ha -ha, wow, that's bad. Just holy shit. Like that's like comedic levels of evil supervillain right there. Comedic levels of evil supervillain. Prescription only. So does it violate federal laws? I don't know. I have no idea. I literally just ran across this literally just today. This came out uh, six days ago. Six days ago. Prescription only. So in New York, there already is a flavor ban, right? There is a there is a flavor ban. Yeah. So there's already a flavor ban, and that didn't take care of it. And there's already exorbitant taxes, and that didn't take care of it. But what about if we banned it like a third time and made it prescription only? Surely, surely that will take care of everything. Why don't we ask Australia how their, pres how their prescription model's going? Oh, oh, what's that? Terrible? Oh, okay, sorry. I thought, I thought that the prescription model was uh, a huge success, but, but it, turns out, uh, it turns out it's not. Okay, so for the last little bit of U.S. news and advocacy, this is all we're going to spend on it right now because I would rather retro vape. That's what's next. I would rather retro vape. Let's get ready to be the most mad that you can be in 41 seconds. Okay. This is the most mad you can be in 41 seconds. Here we are on uh, News Channel 7. Uh, this is uh, Dr. Shyam Kapidia, a pulmonologist. This is the pulmonologist that I would like to metaphorically strangle his brains. Lee Health doctors on Sean Kapati's team diagnosed Max with vape-induced lung injury. Putting a vape into your mouth can end up getting one, one of these shoved down your throat. And I think that's, that's really an important thing that people should be aware of. Dr. Kapadia treats many patients with lung damage. Did you notice he couldn't even look at the camera when he was saying those things? He couldn't even look at the fucking camera when saying, well, if you use a vape, you're going to get one of these jammed down your throat. Damage due to vaping. He says if you choose to pick up a vape, it's a life-threatening decision. Vapes can contain... Life-threatening decision. This is a fucking doctor. This is a pulmonologist telling people who smoke that if they pick up the vape, it's a life-threatening decision? What the fuck is wrong with this guy? This guy should All be fired immediately. Aren't used to. Chromium, nickel, diacetyl, aldehyde. Some vapes even contain... Diacetyl, nickel, chromium, aldehydes. At what levels? At what levels? Continue that thought. Continue. At what levels? At what levels? Ingredients like weed killers. And the scariest part is none of it's regulated by the FDA. And so all of it's regulated by the FDA. Actually, all of it is regulated by the FDA. In fact, if this doctor had a brain between his ears, he could just 
go to the FDA and he would see that they have a big web portal now that tells you these are the products that FDA has authorized for the protection of public health. These are the vape products that FDA has authorized for the protection of public health. You fucking donut. So vape companies can put whatever they want in here yeah. into your um, vaping solutions. Yeah, we vaping solutions, yeah. They can just put anything they want in there. There's no regulation on these. FDA hasn't been regulating these for like 10 years now. They haven't authorized anything onto the market except the things that they've authorized onto the market. If, if that's your doctor, run the other direction. No one should be going to this guy. Literally nobody. Dr. Kadupaya, this guy, avoid this guy at all costs. I'm going to put his name in the chat over and over again because I can spam the chat because I'm allowed. Never go to this doctor. Avoid this doctor at all costs. He will give you bad advice. Bad, bad, bad advice. Terrible advice. No big deal. That's just Florida doctor. Just a doctor from Florida, St. Myers, Florida. Great. Let's keep smokers smoking. Let's just do that. Let's tell people who are already killing themselves with the deadliest consumer product ever created that they should just keep killing themselves with the deadliest consumer product ever created because vapes, you know, oh, you might, uh, I don't know, lung injuries. I can't help but notice in that whole segment, they didn't mention anything about cancer or COPD or emphysema or stroke or heart disease or any of those things. Nope. Nope. Just some mysterious vaping lung boogeyman kind of thing with just ambiguous symptoms like Michael Scott when he's sick, you know, oh, I just don't feel good. Oh, it's just bad. Just trust me. It's just bad. <laughs> just trust me. It's just bad. Wow, right on. So that's the stuff that drives me insane. More insane than I care to mention. There is no situation. I don't, you know, I need to say this, even though you guys know this, there is no situation ever where you should smoke a cigarette instead of vape. We should always vape instead of smoke a cigarette. And there's no too much vaping. Any level of vaping that keeps you away from cigarettes is the correct level of vaping, period. That's it. There's no point in overdoing it because you just get nauseous and you'll just get a headache and your body knows how much nicotine it's had. There is, it's not just infuriating. It's like, what's worse than misinformation? What's like harmful information? It's not misinformation. It's not disinformation. It's like malicious information, like deliberately malicious information. Deliberately. Fucker couldn't even look at the camera when he was talking shit on vaping. Yeah, I mean, I agree with that domestic Bart. Bert, sorry, Bert. Bert says uh, they lost the war on cigs and now they have decided to switch to vaping because it was seen as an easier target. I grew up on the old cig commercials. Me too, man. I remember the Marlboro man. I remember the Winston man. In fact, the Winston man, David Gorlitz, became a vapor and predicted, essentially predicted the future of vaping in the United States. It was kind of crazy. It was kind of crazy what he did. Now then, are there some super chats that we can get into after that news? I'll put all the links in the description. We're running behind. We're running behind. We're running behind. So, ah. Okay, ah, I feel, I don't know, I feel hot. I feel clamped. I feel flushed. <sighs> Ramp X Gaming, appreciate you, Ramp X. You got this, Nick. Everyone has a point when they break, and you came to yours. It's natural to lose it a bit. We're all here for you, Nick. I, listen, I appreciate that, Ramp X. I appreciate you being there. And I'm, and that's the thing is I'm, I'm trying not to break, but I don't know, honestly, how much farther I can bend. Maybe a little bit more. <laughs> maybe a little bit more. But uh, yeah, maybe a little bit more. We'll see, Ramp X. I appreciate you though. Mike D, yo, yo, Nick. Uh, they know the truth and it's simply a shitty strategy to act like they truly don't know while spewing BS about the vape world. Yep. Let them eat a gluten-fortified one. <laughs> 
Mike D says you can eat a gluten fortified dildo. I appreciate you, Mike D. And yeah, you're spot on. You're spot on. It's so, it's so difficult to tell with people on television where they say things like, well, we know that vaping is as bad as smoking. And you kind of go, do they, they have to know that they're lying, but are they like they're faking, like they're faking ignorance to trick you? Like, man, that's weird. Like the level that we have the ability to, to, to trick each other now is crazy. It's crazy. We're all being gaslit. I'm being gaslit. We're all being gaslit by people. Brandon, that's very gracious of you. I've been sig, sig free six years. You and your videos played a huge role. Keep your head up, man. We're all human. Hell yeah. Thank you, Brandon. I appreciate that. And I'm glad you, I'm glad you, I'm glad you got, found my videos helpful. That, that gives me a lot of joy, sir. It gives me a lot of joy. Fuck QTube. Smoke and vape shops and MA still have to post warnings about Evoli? Smoke and vape shops in Massachusetts still have to post warnings about Evoli from vaping, even though it's debunked. Even though CDC said that 100% of the cases from Evoli were from illicit THC carts contaminated with vitamin E acetate. That's. Wow. I mean, that's. That's kind of crazy. Wow. Evoli. Yeah, well, Evoli is still poking up. It's still poking its ugly head around the place. That you know, that they were trying to tie that video I just showed you. They were trying to tie that into Evoli. Into Evoli. Frank, my Frank. Nick, you and Flossie Carter are my two favorite YouTubers of all times. And I must say, you are one of my favorite people in life, period. I lost my mom in 2020. Oh, so I understand. Keep your head up, bro. Big love to you, Frank. Big love. I'm sorry for your loss. I'm so sorry. I'm going to, yeah, it's a, it's a tough subject. I'm, I'm close with my dad these days. I'm, and I'm pretty close with my mom. I've, I've been closer with my mom in the past. Yeah, man, you know, and that's like, I think that's just life. No, nobody gets out alive, you know, nobody does. And I think that, I think that death is just as big a part of life as living is. It's what gives living meaning. No, you know, knowing that I'm going to be dead someday gives this part meaning. It gives this part the special the special part, you know? The good parts in the middle. Appreciate you, Frank. Ashley Smith. Uh, Grim, I work in healthcare and seeing the decline in the disease uh, is fucking awful. I feel for you. Hearts and thoughts go to you and your family. Yes, thank you, Ashley Smith. It's um, it's really, uh, I've said it already. It's heartbreaking. I mean, really, very, truly, honestly, heartbreaking, because I can, you know, I can talk to my dad on the phone, and it's it it kills me because it sounds like I'm talking to him from from 20 years ago. You know, he just sounds great, and he's sharp, and we have great conversations, and we talk about politics, and we talk about current events, and we talk about Star Trek, and football, and cars, and all sorts of stuff, and photography, and I have these really great conversations with him, and the, and but it's really just everything else. <laughs> the, the late stage Parkinson's disease is not... I mean, not something you, I even want someone to see, much less go through. It's pretty awful, Ashley. Thank you. I appreciate you. Tim, t dude, I love you. I'm here. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. I know you have my back. I, that, I've never doubted, like, ever, never, ever doubted that you guys have my back. And that's never crossed my mind. Never thought about it. I appreciate that, Tim, very much. Didi, we got you, brother. Whatever you do, do it for you. Do it. We will always have your back. As for the other YouTubers talking shit, F them. Hey, love you, mean it. Hey, I love you too. And yeah, and F them and like, fuck, man, just leave people alone. Just leave me alone. Just stop it. Just stop talking about me. Just keep... <laughs> 
Keep my name out your mouth. That's how I feel. That's how I feel. It was fun. That, and you know, that's how I feel about this YouTube too, is like, you know, sometimes people talk about like, uh, e-bike reviews and doing other things and like, oh, do this and reviewing other things. And like, no, I don't, those aren't my interests. <laughs> like th this is what I like. Chef Seamus and I were just talking about this. Has anybody watched? I think you can, I think you should leave. This is going to be a long, a long reference, but I promise it's worth it. There's a skit and I think you should leave where he, the guy, the main character, there's a skit where he plays a silent storyteller from the old times. And he tells a whole story without talking. And if he talks, then you get money. And then it gets really, really out of hand. You know, does anybody remember this skit? <laughs> does anybody remember this? I feel like him. He cuts this promo where he's talking about, he's like, I like old stuff. Like only come here if you like that stuff. That's how I feel about this YouTube. Like, I like vape. I'm all about it. Like, only come here if you like this stuff. Because I love this stuff. This is the stuff I want to talk about. I have no interest in having a YouTube about anything else than this. Like, this is the stuff I only come here if you like this stuff. Like, if you like vape stuff, then then you can come here. But only come here if you like this stuff. That's vape stuff. Mallory, you have places you can talk to anyone when you need leveling out. We are here and we can listen when needed. Mallory, thank you. I know, I know. I know, and like... I'm looking forward to hanging out with you guys tonight. We don't have to talk about anything. We don't have to talk about anything deep. Honestly, I just want to kind of goof off and have fun and hanging out. I don't know why this is making me emotional. Maybe I just broke the seal and now I'm going to fucking gently sob at everything that comes across my desk. Hanging out with the Yo-Yo I Cool Kids after the end of every vlog on Thursday. Fuck, I look forward to that. <laughs> I do. I really look forward to it. All right, sorry. Getting sorry, you get emo Nick. I'm going to paint my fingernails black and put on some MCR. Slater, fucking love you, man. Uh, you know we're here for you, no matter what. You need to do what you need to do. Don't ever apologize for it. Appreciate the hell. I appreciate the hell in you. Oh, Slater, I know you meant to say I appreciate the hell out of you, but you typed I appreciate the hell in you, and that made me smile. <laughs> <clears throat> Thank you. I appreciate having the hell in me. Uh, hashtag cluck and challenge. Hashtag you know where it goes. Talking about that boosh goo. We can't spend all of this time in super chats, but the janitor, keep your chin up, brother. We all have your back and relate completely. Thank you for sharing with us. Uh, love you, brother. We got this. You know, thank you, janitor. Absolutely. And like I said, I never doubt that you guys don't have my back. Like I know I know that you do. And I know, and what I like most is I know that you don't like, I know that you do have my back, but not just like blindly, you know, not just blindly have my back. And I, and I, and I really very appreciate that. I like that you guys will keep me, you know, honest and, and, you know, up, up on my game as it were. Chasing clouds and flavor reviews, bro. I hear you, brother. Sometimes uh, I say, I just say, what's the point? You always have to push forward, not for the cause, but for your passion. You'll be okay. I know. I know. I know in the end that it will be okay. And if it's not okay, then it's not the end. That's something that I've, that I've, a mantra that I've kept going in my head for a long time. And that I know everything will be okay in the end. And if it's not okay, then it's not the end. And so keep going. You know, I, I honestly feel like what's the point a lot. But then I immediately, it's like it's always followed with like my brain going, fuck, you're helping smokers quit, dude. And I'm like, oh, okay, yeah. That's the fucking point. That's the fucking point. That's the fucking point. I'm sorry that this is like obscenity vlog to the maximum. Susan. Susan, that's very gracious of you. In 2018, I had a heart attack. 40-year smoker, left the hospital, found a vape shop, never looked back. Ah! Oh! 
Oh, well, I really wish you didn't have to have that heart attack, Susan, but damn it, I love that you got a vape and just never looked back. I love that. Congratulations to you, Susan. I appreciate that. That's my, that's my fuel. That's what I need, you know? Demented Designs, that's very gracious of you. you. He says, Nick, you're a great friend to us all. You work hard and do the right thing and bring us honesty and kindness. I hope that you know we are here for you. I know, I know you are. I know you, I know you are. And I know I'm going to say this probably a bunch more times during the vlog, but I know you are, man. I know you are. That's something I never doubt. I, I'm, I don't even like the term lucky. I don't like the term blessed. I, I don't like a lot of those terms. I'm very thankful. And I recognize how grateful I am to have, to have the audience that I have, you know, that's, that's everything, man. Having a, having a cool audience. That's everything. I love you, Demented Designs. Hope your designs are uh, staying demented. Shane Delvin, you didn't say anything. You didn't have to. Here's a fist bump. There's some horns. Love you, Shane. Fishy. Uh, Nick, you have so much love here and we'll always have from this guy. We are here for you. Don't make me sobby, Fishy, you jerk. You have a fantastic cool kid community uh, that you have educated to help you preach the good word. Yeah. Love you so much, pimp. Hey, fishy. Appreciate you, pimp. Yeah, shit. We're emo tonight. Anders, first super chat. Keep it up. Love from Sweden. Oh, Anders. I love Sweden. I love your country. I'm going to come visit you, Anders. <laughs> I love Sweden. I love your country. I've been there multiple times and I, and I plan on going back and I plan on, uh, I plan on going back many, many times, multiple times. I'm going to take pickle up to Sweden. We're going to go look at some fjords. It's going to be awesome. <sighs> Can't wait it. Can't wait. Uh, ramp X gaming, uh, Dr. Caponata can suck my time. <laughs> you going to suck it. You going to take it gonna take that belt ramp x gaming yeah he could but then you'd have to get a tube down his throat georgia boy hey grim army for life hey georgia boy for life georgia boy for life that's what i have to say appreciate you georgia boy mike d uh do what you love and you'll never work a day in your life yeah you know that's the saying that's the saying that i've heard is that you, you never work a day in your you, you know you do what you love you'll never work a day in your life and that is true, but it's also not true in any way because what I've discovered is that when you do something you love, you actually work harder than you ever have ever in your life, but it's enjoyable work. Like the satisfaction I get from piecing together news articles and like doing some journalism work and like putting together a video about like, vaping in your teeth or you know the cardiovascular disease and it's very fulfilling it's very rewarding i really like it and i recognize that i'm working hard i'm just enjoying it you know so it's kind of like do what you love and you'll work harder than you ever have but you're not going to hate it i think that's really really the sentiment there you're just not going to loathe it constantly Appreciate you, Mike D. Hope you're doing good, man. Jake Scrapwood found out a couple of weeks ago my dad is in stage four lung cancer, too old for surgery and refusing chemo. So I know the feeling, lost brain. I still don't know how to deal. Yeah. Wow, Jake. Fuck. Yeah, it's like, yeah, man, that hits with me, Jake. That hits with me. Yeah, I don't know how to deal. You don't know how to deal. It's tough. It's a weird, it's like, yeah, I don't know. There's not even any words, you know? It's just, I'm I'm just, my only comfort right now is knowing that it's part of the human experience, you know? Every every time you laugh or cry or or you're sad or you giggle or you're angry or you're frightened, you know, that's all part of the of the human experience. And I think this is just a big part of that human experience. I appreciate you, Jake. Love you, man. I hope you're doing okay. That's tough, man. Fuck. That's tough. LJ. 
We got your back like a butt crack. Tacos are on tonight, dude. I'm going to crush. I'm going to devastate Taco Bell. I'm going to bankrupt Taco Bell tonight. Bankrupt them. Go grab another beer. And just remember this. Over the gums, through the lips, look out stomach. Here we go. You know what? Poon sauce. Damn it, that's a good idea. Damn it, that's a good idea. Here we go. Here we go now. Look at this. Here we go. Let's go. Does anybody recognize this? This is a beer. Uh, I don't know. I picked this up recently. Beer shopping. This is just a classic, classic beer. Classic, classic beer. Do we need to roll the bumper? No. Classic, classic beer. This is just the Arrogant Bastard Ale. It's the Arrogant Bastard Ale. It's delicious. It's timeless. It's a, it's a classic, classic beer. We're going to pour it. Thank you, Poon Sauce, for uh, peer pressuring me. Now you can see why I started smoking cigarettes so easily. Do you see how easily I was peer pressured? All Poon Sauce had to say was like, oh, go get another beer. I was like, yeah, <laughs> sounds great. <laughs> Good idea. Appreciate you, Poon Sauce. Thank you, for, uh, <laughs> thank you for peer pressuring me into another beer. Cheers, bro. Cheers. Poon Sauce, this is for you. Yeah. Cheers. My God. My God, that beer is good. It's a little bit, it's a little bit bitter on the finish, but not in a bad way. It's very like what I would call astringent on the finish, like pine, like a pine needle. Do you want to see a, I have a Polaroid of my dog's. And I keep it on my desk and it falls all the time, but I still keep it up here just because I look at them and I smile. I'm like, oh, look at my dogs. Pine needles, like like uh, if you've ever walked up to a pine tree and then pulled a needle off and then broke the needle in half and then ate it, that's this. It's a very, and I only did that because I was a kid and I was growing up in Tahoe and you're curious, you know? Why wouldn't you, uh, why wouldn't you? <laughs> Why wouldn't you eat pine needles? It tastes like pine needles. When you get that pine needle, like, you know, on your tongue, it immediately feels dry, like astringent. That's what astringency is. It feels drying, very drying in the mouth. This is astringent, but it's good. It's big. It's syrupy. I mean, it's arrogant bastard. I can't, I, how do I describe this beer? It's like the beer of beers. It's like, It's, it's, it's arrogant bastard. It's, it's the, the arrogant bastard ale. Yeah. It's got a 92 on beer advocate. What do they say? One of my favorite go-to beers, big, bold, bitter, but balanced. It's definitely not for everyone, but it's hard to beat a 12 pack, a $12 six pack. Yeah, that is good. Earthy hop, semi-sweet caramel malts. Yeah, sure. I can get that earthy with a little more of damp cardboard flavor. Sure. All of these things are good. It's arrogant bastard. It's just so good. Uh, I believe this is a stone beer, right? Yeah, stone, brewed in California. I, I went to, yeah, Escondido, Escondido, California. Um, I went to the stone tasting room uh, many, many, many years ago and had some unbelievable draft beers, but they had uh, arrogant bastard on tap. And it was like, okay, well, I have to get that. Arrogant bastard. Hell yeah. All right, here we go. Round two. Maybe the beer is going to make me more emo. <laughs> like, wow. <laughs> Sorry, that's my best Scooby-Doo. That's my first shaggy impression ever. Um, It's 619, so <sighs> let's, uh, let's open mail. We might not get to a retro vape tonight. We might not get to a retro vape tonight. I can't, we cannot run long. I cannot run that long. We're two hours right now. Okay. We're two hours. 
<sighs> we might bump the retro vaping. I know. That's a bummer. And I know people tune in for the retro vaping. Listen, I'll try to fit it in. Let's let's get into some mail. I need it. Let's open mail. Oh, almost didn't make it back in time. Well, uh, I've only got two packages here tonight, today, tonight, today, tonight. Arrogant Bastard always makes you want to watch Gargoyles. Dude, how good was Gargoyles, the TV show, on the Disney Channel? Dude, I got into Gargoyles for a hot minute. Got really into Gargoyles for a hot minute. That is good. That's good stuff. Bump vape mail? <laughs> Bump vape mail. All right. Just bump it till next week. What? Am I a magician? Why did I have $20 in this in this Dixon? <laughs> That's the most random thing. Maybe I did that on purpose. All right. Let's button this back up so that future Nick can discover that $20 again. Don't know where that was from. Uh... Let's dig in here. This, this, this is one of them, and I believe. Ugh. Yeah, I think I know who this is. I think I know who this is from. I think I know. Where's the pull tab? Is there a pull tab? There's not a pull tab. Okay. <coughs> I thought that would be a pull tab. <coughs> Pardon me. I know. It's gross. It's beer. Uh, yeah okay and then oh didn't even need that all right yep i had a feeling i had a feeling i know who this is gargoyles was the shit right Gargoyles Remastered just released on Steam? Really? I'd like to check that out. I remember really liking Gargoyles, but I haven't watched it. I mean, it's been... Before I saw it, before I saw you type it in the chat, I hadn't thought about Gargoyles since I watched it, like in the 90s. <laughs> That's crazy, but I remember really liking it. Without, yeah, normal view. <laughs> I found the uh, I found the original. Oh no! Oh, it's on my laptop. I found the original normal view clip on YouTube, the one I downloaded and used in my videos. Anyway, hello Nick. We wanted to wish you a happy early birthday. Uh, best part of my week is sitting down to build and watching your Thursday vlogs. Sorry, I'm not more active in the chats, but the majority of the time my hands are full with wire and drill bits. Thank you for being awesome. Timmy and Jen from Twisted Timmy's Coils. Timmy, I don't know exactly like how our paths crossed or why you were suddenly so gracious and started sending me things, but I, I couldn't be happier about it, Timmy. I love your coils. I like your products. I love your juices. Thank you. I mean, Timmy, thank you for considering me to send things to. Yeah, weekly reminder to switch the chat from the top chat to the live chat. Can I do that? Or is everybody voting? Oh yeah, change the top chat to the live chat. There you go. Now you, now you see it all, you see everything. Fucking Timmy, I know, right? Fucking Timmy, what a guy. What a Timmy, you know? So, uh, 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 a care package from Timmy is like just one of the great joys of my life because we have more Gulf Breeze, we got more 21 grams, and we got more fresh batch. And Gulf Breeze, very solid. But these two, 21 grams and fresh batch, oh my god. They are, they are, they are, I mean, fresh batch is, anyway, crazy good. 
Then wait, we got some coils. Hell yeah. Oh my god. You know how much joy this brings me? Just this little Ziploc bag with that baby blue aqua twisted Timmy coils. We got some alien V2s, billet box aliens, uh, series aliens, four core aliens, fralians V2, MacBoro aliens, uh, alien 2.5s, TVR, TRVP juggernaut. Whoa, what are you? The juggernaut coil. Some more Lucky 7s, triple 27 gauge core Lucky 7s. Sick. Top flights. I mean, top flights micro aliens. But wait, there's more. There's Twisted Timmy stickers. Dude, I need to do sticker packs like this. These are good sticker packs. Aliens have landed. Twisted Timmy's coils. Twisted Timmy bag breakfast at timothy's <laughs> aliens have landed wait some of the, one of these i i had to uh get rid of some of the stickers on my uh um my little arm here for my microphone because one of them started peeling so i grabbed it and i was like maybe i can get just this one and i went and it just ripped off like 30 stickers that I had on here. I was like, Grr. I was like, oh, no. So there's some missing now. There's still a tribal Buddha here. There's still a few things. But we need a Timmy. You know, we need a Timmy up there right now. And let's grab. See, I like this one. Oh, I don't want to put it over the billet boxes. Let's put it here. Little Twisted Timmy, little 8-bit alien right there. Perfect addition. Perfect addition. But wait. But wait. Oh, mama. More coils. Micro-fused. Micro-fused. Series-fused. Micro-fused. Macboro-fused. Oh, V8. Look at this. I got some Crazy 8s, bro. Crazy 8 aliens for Boro Squonks. 0.25 millimeter, 0.3 single coil. Dude, these are good Boro coils. Good Boro coils. I almost smelled them. What is that? Why is it when humans open something, we want to smell it? Yeah. Smells like nichrome. That's fine. What is that? We just like doing weird shit. It's like, you know, have you ever been eating like something cold, like cereal, but you take a scoop of it and you're like, you blow on it? Why? 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 I'm eating cereal. Why am I eating cereal and blowing on it? Oh. And you realize what you did, and you're like, wow, I feel like a dumb human. That was a weird dumb human move. We got more Event Horizon, more Paradigm Shift. Look, I would say I feel guilty about all of this, but I love Twisted Timmy's coils, so <laughs> I don't care. I'm keeping all this. And, and, <gasps> what? Wait, what? Is there some merch here? Is this dog hair? Is this a Twisted Timmy Coils hoodie? Oh man, I hope you fit. I hope you're the right size. Please be the right size. This looks like it's gonna fit. Twisted Timmy's Coils. And then on the back, something. What is that, a circuit? It's like a circuit, yep. Rad. Fuck yeah, Twisted Timmy's Coils. Damn, Twisted Timmy's got some good merch. Too bad Grim Green doesn't have that kind of merch, you know? Too bad. <laughs> Too bad. All right, well, shit. thank you, Twisted Timmy. Thank you, Timmy. Thank you, Jen. You know you know, I love you guys, and uh, thank you for, the, for all the love. Thank you for the support. I hope... I hope that, you know, there's certain people... So on this YouTube... Um, some people pay to be here, but most people I don't charge to for, to have their products on this YouTube. Only really big companies, huge companies that can afford it, they can afford Grim Green. Everybody else, Twisted Timmy, Vapors Cloud, Monarchy Poland, anybody, anybody else, it's all pro bono. It's all free. I don't charge anybody to review things on this YouTube channel. I, I just don't. I just don't. And so... Twisted Timmy, I appreciate you 
sending things and you're one of the people that I really try to promote more just because I like you and I believe in your products and I want you, you know, to, to continue. I want you to, to be successful. I want you to continue being Twisted Timmy. There's a few brands and it's like, look, if, it, if I'm being real, it's like my friend's brands. It's like deep cuts. I happen to love guava jelly and it's my favorite liquid of all time, but I want deep cuts to continue. And so I promote the shit out of deep cuts because it's good and everybody should be buying it because Eric is awesome. And those are the kind of people we need to keep in business. People like Eric, people like Timmy. These are the brands that I would much, much rather promote. Much rather promote. And I do. And I don't charge them. And it's free. And so, Timmy, I hope that you are that you are just reaping these rewards. I just hope that Twisted Timmy is, is being successful. Like, that's that's my wish for you, Twisted Timmy. That's my wish. That fresh batch, that 21 grams, you guys are killing it. You know, you guys are killing it. People charge? I know, it's crazy. What? People charge? That's crazy. Yeah. Well, you know, it's nothing new. I've been dealing with that hogwash since the beginning of vaping. I remember people would give me a hard time because if I gave something a good review, they're like, wow, well, you just gave that a good review because you got it for free. I'm like, what? This was my, like, how do you become that cynical? How do you become that cynical to just go, ah, his integrity's ruined because he got it for free. How do you become that cynical? How do you get to be that cynical? And so, yeah, I, it's nothing new. It's nothing new. I've been hearing this nonsense from people literally my entire career, literally my entire career. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. I don't care. There's no, I just want everybody to know. Maybe, maybe this is the emo talking. Maybe this is the booze talking. I just want everybody to know there isn't an amount of money that would make me give a bad vape product a good review because it's just not worth it. Because like I said, my mission is to help smokers not smoke cigarettes. That's it, period. And so if what I'm doing doesn't accomplish that goal, then it's useless to me. So if someone gives me, I don't know, what's an exorbitant amount of money? Like $100,000, $100,000. If a vape company came to me and said, give this a good review for $100,000 and I reviewed it and it was bad, I would give it a bad review. There's no way. There's no amount of money. There's no amount of money that you can just buy integrity with. That's crazy. I'm on a mission from God, man. Like, I don't care about your company. I don't care about your business. I don't care how well or bad you're doing. All I care about is if your products are good and will help someone who smokes quit. Fucking period. That's it. That's it. Period. So drive a dump truck full of money up to my house and tell me to give it a good review. And if it sucks, it's going to get a shit review. I don't care. You can keep it. You can keep the money. Keep it. Stick it up your ass. All right. Maybe I've had a little bit too much to drink, but that's where we're at. Okay. Now, okay. Twisted Timmy, like, look, that was rocking. We got some rad Twisted Timmy's juice. And I think that gives me like four bottles of the 21 grams, which means I don't need four bottles of 21 grams. It's time to spread that love around. I got patrons. I got yo-yos. You guys are going to get some fucking twisted Timmy's when it, when it, when it rains on me, it rains on you. You know, that's just how this works. Okay. Let's get to the rest of this mail of which there is one. And I believe this, you know, um, Patrick Conquest. Shout out to Patrick Conquest. I love you, man. I love you, Patrick Conquest. Patrick Conquest is... Patrick Conquest has listened to bands that haven't even formed yet. That's how into obscure music Patrick Conquest is. Literally every band that Patrick Conquest has recommended to me, I have never heard of before. And that's amazing. 
That's unbelievable to me. And Patrick Conquest is like he's the music guy. He's all about it. He works in record stores. He loves music. He loves records. He's an audiophile. And so the records that I get from Patrick Conquest are always high quality and always awesome. He's, I mean, Patrick Conquest, the single most unique fucker I've ever met in my life. He, he is not a carbon copy of anybody, anybody on earth. He is the most, you, Patrick Conquest, I don't know if you're watching this. You're the most unique person I've ever met, ever in my life. The most unique person. And that is a superpower, my friend. That is a fucking superpower. See, here's the thing. I kind of already know what this is before I even open it. Oh my God. I mean, <gasps> what? What? This is the album, Zayo, All Else Failed. So, I can't even explain to you. I can't, I can't, I'm going to have a hard time explaining to you how cool this record is. This is far and away, far and away, one of the coolest records that I've ever been gifted, I've ever had in my life. If we're going to talk about Zayo real quick. This isn't a getting to know Grim Green. I'm not putting any songs on the playlist. I'm just going to talk about Zayo for a second because Patrick Conquest graciously, graciously gifted me a, a, an incredibly old school and very, very rare record, Zayo. The band is Zayo. And Zayo is, I don't know, probably one of, if not the best, like Christian metalcore outfits. I mean, not metalcore. I don't even want to call Zayo metalcore. Calling Zayo metalcore, metalcore is like a disservice to metalcore. Zayo is is bigger than that. Zayo is like one of the biggest, like most respected Christian hardcore bands just ever. They still play Furnace Fest all the time. I discovered Zayo very early on and immediately fell in love with an album called The Splinter. The Splinter Shards the Birth of Separation. That's the whole title. And it's unbelievable. It's an unbelievable album. And Zayo was one of those bands where it's like nobody ever has any Zayo merch. They just, Zayo merch doesn't exist. Nobody has any Zayo albums because Zayo albums don't exist. Nobody's seen Zayo live because Zayo flakes on all their shows. Zayo was like this band that it was like they were this i don't know they were like on a pedestal above other christian bands at the time because it's like i'll go to tom fest i'll watch mxpx all day long i'll watch pod they're always there i'll watch this band i'll watch that band and then it's like oh zayo's playing tom fest holy shit and then of course you go to the zayo set and someone comes out on stage and goes oh zayo had to cancel they couldn't make it and you're like fuck fuck everything all right i guess i'll never see zayo to this day Never seen Zayo. <laughs> Never seen Zayo. I know. That's not a name I've heard in a long time. A long time. Yeah, dude. Fucking Zayo. So I got into Zayo on the Splinter album. Then they released, you know, Liberate. And then they were like, Zayo kind of blew up a little bit. Liberate is really really good the splinter is really really good but this predates all of that this is their first release this is a remastering of the 1996 classic all else failed all else failed this is basically an ep nine tracks that's an ep right that's not a full length that's not a full length yeah oh we're gonna get to the vinyl we're going to get to the vinyl, Patrick Conquest Pants. We're going to get to the vinyl. But the Splinter and Liberate are uh, awesome. Uh, uh. Big Red Sensei, you're, you're heavy into the Christian music? Dude, I used to be crazy into the Christian music. There is a ton of stellar, stellar Christian bands out there. 
stellar Christian bands. I don't, I don't, I don't like people can make fun of religion. That's fine. It's whatever to each their own, but I'll be damned if you're going to talk shit on any Christian metal bands, because there are some excellent, 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 excellent Christian metal bands out there that will just knock your dick in the dirt. I'm going to save these stickers. I'm going to cut out this sticker, Patrick. Like, there's no way I'm going to part ways with this. Ah, yes. Keeping it literally forever. I'm going to tape it to my water jug. All else failed. Wait, wait, there's another stick around here. Limited edition variant. <laughs> Steadfast Records. Holy shit. Yeah, there was a brief time, about a decade, where anything that was on like tooth and nail, solid state, uh, rescue records, loved the shit out of it. Chalice. Do you remember the band Chalice? Do you remember? Anyway, top notch. August Burns Red, hella Christian band. Norma Jean. Norma Jean is devastatingly good. Norma Jean is awesome. Yeah, there's a lot of like under the radar Christian bands like August Burns Red or like Under Oath or like As I Lay Dying. Not, not a lot of people know that As I Lay Dying started off as a Christian outfit, but they did. They totally did. I got their first record, bro. I got their first record. All right, let's look at this vinyl because it's limited. How futile is the life that lives for nothing? Damn, you guys. Damn, Zayo. Just laying it on thick. Recorded over four days in April 1996 at Spider Studios. Steadfast Records. Ah, oh, we got like an ox blood swirl. That's fucking sick. That is sick. That is sick. Holy shit. I can't believe this exists. Like, I can't, I can't believe I'm holding this in my hands right now. Zayo, this all else failed. Damn. This is damn hell ass good. This is one of those albums, like, I just thought would never exist on vinyl. Like, I think about some of my, all, all my old favorite Christian bands, and I'm like, man, I'm never going to get a vinyl of, like, EDL. I'm never going to get a vinyl of Embodiment. I'm never going to get a vinyl of Demon Hunter. I'm never going to get a vinyl of this. And now they're, they're, they're coming out. Like vinyls are being released from these old Christian bands. And dude, I got the MXPX box set. I never thought I'd have Slowly Going the Way of the Buffalo on vinyl. Hell yeah. It exists. I have it. All right, guys. Well, that's it. Well, that's the mail. Hell yeah, that's the mail. This Zayo poster is going to go right here. Holy shit. It's going to be perfect, Patrick. I'm going to I'm going to tape that to my my uh my my uh closet slider door here. Closet slider door there. Damn hell ass good. All right, you guys. Uh can I quickly mention something? <laughs> Can I quickly mention something? Let me see if this is actually something I even want to quickly want to mention. Yeah, this is something we need to mention. This is something we need to mention. Yep. Here we go. Uh, I don't have any. Okay, though, that's a lie. I'm going to quickly, quickly, quickly. DSAP. Hey, DSAP. I love you, DSAP. Hell yeah. Hope you're doing good. The plural of vinyl is vinyl, and they're called records. I didn't know Ern had so many opinions about records. <laughs> I, didn't know, I didn't know you had so many opinions. No, don't be pissed, Patrick Conquest. It's perfect, bro. It's perfect. I love it. No living sacrifice love. Oh, yeah? Well, uh, hang on. Hang on. These aren't in any order, you know? Ha! Yeah! Yeah! Huh? Huh? 
Huh? What about some living sacrifice non-existent on vinyl? What about some mother trucking living sacrifice non-existent on vinyl, huh? What about some mother trucking non-existent on vinyl fucking gold record, huh? What? I know. I know. It's cool. It's cool. Keep your keep your applause down, please. Keep your applause down. No need to get that excited. But hell yeah, love for living sacrifice. Hell yeah, love for living sacrifice. In fact, yeah. I, I, I've always loved Living Sacrifice. From the first album to whenever, love Living Sacrifice. Got to see them live a number of times. Unbelievable band. That is non-existent on vinyl, Mother Trucker. That is non-existent on vinyl. Okay. I have strong opinions. <laughs> Earn. if there's someone who understands strong opinions, it's me. It's your old pal, you know, it's your old pal. Let me do some real quick news. I'm sorry. Oh my God. We're running long again. Let me do some real quick news. Uh, UK, Australia, go. And UK, Australia, go. News, yeah. News, yeah. The UK Vaping Industry Association, UCVIA, has called for an immediate pause on the tobacco vapes bill as fears it could spark a public health disaster. After the government revealed that no such re that no research had been carried out into the public health aspects of this new vape legislation, the UCVIA tells Prime Minister Rishi Sunak the potential health disaster that the government is about to unleash with this politically motivated bill is so serious that we must halt its progress immediately. It is irresponsible for the government to propose legislation that gives unprecedented powers to the Secretary of State to make life or death decisions for millions of British smokers and vapors without even a a cursory nod to the health impacts this may have. A regulatory impact assessment issued as the bill was introduced to the House of Commons at its first reading yesterday highlighted three major omissions which may be urgently addressed. The government admits that they have not qualified the health impacts of fewer people using vapes to quit smoking as a result of imposing new restriction, va uh, restriction on vape flavors, regulating vape packaging and product presentation to regulate in-store point-of-sale vape displays. UCVIA director John Doon said... The powers in this bill are so wide it would allow, at its most extreme, a ban on all flavors, cigarette-style plain packaging, and see vapes locked away from view just like cigarettes. Not only would this wipe out the UK vape industry, but it would literally be a potential death sentence for millions of vapors who have already successfully quit smoking cigarettes and to millions of adult smokers who would be not denied the opportunity to switch. Ukvia! Firing on all cylinders here. anti ruji Sunak. Yeah, of course we are anti Sunak. Is that how you say his name? I don't want to uh, get it wrong. Yeah, Sunak. Sunak. Mother trucking Sunak. Nobody likes this guy. Nobody likes this guy. I don't like this guy. I'm not even a Brit, and I don't like this guy. Not only would the would this wipe out the UK vape industry, but it would literally be a potential death sentence to millions of vapors who have already successfully quit smoking cigarettes and to millions of adult smokers who would be denied the opportunity to switch. We will continue to support any moves that push new initiatives that help prevent underage vaping, including a retailer and distribution vape licensing scheme we have developed. We don't cross the road without considering the health impacts of walking into traffic, and we must, must not proceed with any new legislation that could see millions of sm former smokers potentially returning to deadly cigarettes hashtag pause the bill <sighs> how on earth did the uk get this off track man man the uk was it the UK was everything we ever needed. They embraced vaping. They embraced harm reduction. They regulated it. They legalized it. They, you know, it was licensed and everything was great. And, and vaping was displacing smoking and smoking was dropping in the United Kingdom. And then the government said, hey, it's not dropping fast enough. Let's give out some free vape kits to literally everybody in the country. Try to get these smoking rates down. And then Sunak comes in and says, uh... Let's literally change everything we've been doing. 
Let's literally let's literally change everything we've been doing and ruin the vape industry in the United Kingdom. Let's talk about flavor bans. Let's talk about taxes. Let's talk about generational vaping bans. Let's go for it. Let's just do it, UK. Let's go. Thankfully, the UK has Ukvia and D General Director John Doon, who I've met a couple of times. He's a great guy. He's a great guy. They really do care about vaping. Uh, just to put it into perspective, Dapper Dan, the DoorDash man, just to put it in more perspective, Sunak was not even elected to parliament. What? Really? Really? Kithrin, you are spot on. It's all Bloomberg. This is 100% Bloomberg. 100% Bloomberg. And years ago, years ago, I kept warning the United Kingdom. I said, be careful about Bloomberg. He's going to get his greasy tentacles into your country. I can tell. It's just a thing that's going to happen. He's cozying up to Bath. He's cozying up to Ash. He's cozying up to a lot of people. And sure enough, wouldn't you know it, like literally one year later, now we're talking about a flavor ban in, in the UK. Now we're talking about taxes in the UK. It's actually insa insane. I can't think of any other way to say it than insane. Insane what's happening in the UK. Whoa. Yep, yep. This is the best political take I've ever seen in my life, Earn. Conservatives hate you. Liberals want to control you. If you're not the ultra 1%, neither party gives a fuck about you. No. We are just gears in the machine, man. We are just gears in the machine. Have you ever actually like thought about work, like thought about a job? The idea that you dedicate 70 years of your life, you know, to a company, to a job? That's crazy. And then with taxes, you're basically working for like four months of the year for free because of all the taxes you pay off of your paycheck. You're basically working for free. That's insane. That is actually insane. <laughs> That's insane. We're going to deconstruct this all. Although I wouldn't say liberals right there. I'm trying to uh, change the meaning of the word liberal, although I'm not. I would say leftists. I would say conservatives hate you and leftists want to control you. Liberalism is not what, not what you think it is, but that's a, that's a bigger discussion for another day. That's a much bigger discussion for another day. That's when I start, uh, I don't know, uh, grim, grim politics or something. Like that's when I start another YouTube channel where I talk about, <laughs> where I talk about politics. Uh, but this isn't about that. This is not about politics. This is a bipartisan channel. This arrogant bastard. So good. Tip top, top notch. Yeah. Shit. Add on property tax, sales tax. You know what upsets me the most, Kithrin, while we're on the subject of taxes? Fucking cars, bro. Cars. What an expensive barrier to be part of society. Like, oh, you want to be part of society? Buy a car. Spend $10,000 on a car. Pay insurance for your car. Pay taxes on your car. And then we're not going to fix the roads that you drive your car on. So every time I drive my car, I'm just incurring, you know, damage and hazards. Like, oh, shit. Well, that feels like something broke. Oh, God, look at all these potholes. Oh, there goes my axle. So I get taxed on a car that I have to own to be part of society. And then they don't use the taxes to fix the roads that damage my car that I need to pay for. I need to maintain my car that's getting damaged by the roads that my taxes aren't fixing. Just give me trains. Just give me some trains. <laughs> Just give me some trains. Okay. Off topic, but back on topic. Here, okay, here's the only political thing I'm ever going to put in the in the chat of this chat. This is uh this is everything to me. This is my new political ideology. Just know who you're getting involved with right now. Everybody go there. Everybody go there. This is an offshoot of libertarianism and it and, and I love it. 
and I'm down and I'm into it. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we were going to talk about Australia real quickly. Sorry, I did get sidetracked. People confuse left with liberal all the time. People confuse left with liberal. People confuse left with liberal. It doesn't make any sense. I am not left. I am not left. I'm sorry, Chasing Clouds. I'm sorry. Is this better, buddy? Is this better? You want me to talk seductively into your earphones? You want some grim green ASMR? You want that in your ears? You want it? Let's talk about Australia real quick. Let's talk about Australia real quick. Things, so this is confusing to me. This is like, this is bananas to me. Things might be changing in Australia quicker than we think. Things might be changing in Australia quicker than we think. I was shocked by this. I think everybody would be shocked by this. I hope that you're shocked by this. Because according to Alex Wodak, who is, let me tell you, Alex Wodak is, I don't know, inspiring, calculated, deliberate, very, very smart, very, very, very in favor of harm reduction. He's been working in harm reduction literally his whole life. Alex Wodak is the guy to listen to. And according to The Guardian... Victorian Premier Jacinta Allen has just announced the state government will introduce a tobacco licensing scheme. Allen says the move follows advice from Better Regulation Commissioner who issued a report about this. We've accepted the commissioner's central recommendation that we should introduce a licensing scheme. We are working through the different areas of the government and we are looking to bring the legislation to parliament on the second half of 2024. We want to first do some consultations and release some further details, which we'll do in the coming months. Also, the opportunity to save face for the federal government, which might now pivot from fantasy to reality. They might. This, I mean, and I don't think this is a long shot. I think this is a short shot. But the idea that an MP, Victorian, no, not even an MP, Victorian Premier Jacinta Allen has i mean she's falling under fire for this if anyone's curious she's give she's being given a hard time she's being given a very hard time but she's basically saying look the prescription model is failing the prescription model has failed we need to abandon the prescription model as soon as possible and do a tobacco licensing scheme and sell these as consumer products as soon as humanly possible. As soon as humanly possible. She's getting a bunch of blowback. She's getting, uh, you know, dragged through the mud in the media. But the idea that as early as this year, as early as 2024, there could be changes coming to Australia. It might be it might be abandoning the prescription model. <laughs> Think about that. Australia might be abandoning the prescription model, abandoning the prescription model. They might go to like a regular licensed tobacco retail model. That's it. That's it. Period. Keep your fingers crossed that Australia abandons the prescription model because they're close. They're actually really legitimately close. Yeah. I wasn't shocked. It's what we've been fighting for. It ain't over till the fat chick sings. Hell yes, James R. Hell yes, James R. I appreciate you, James R. The people in Australia doing the advocacy work, fuck yeah. I can't believe it. I couldn't believe it. I saw I thought, "Whoa. They might actually abandon this prescription model. They might go back to a like licensed retail tobacconist model." That's awesome. Down with the scripts. <laughs> Down with the scripts in Melbourne. I think that's great. I think that's awesome. That's the only good news that I've seen out of Australia is they may go back. They may. This is way up in the air, but they may go back 
to a, uh, yeah, in fact, here, let's look at uh, Colin Mendelson real quick. Let's look at Colin Mendelson real quick. The vaping reform bill has been referred to the Senate Community Affairs Committee for an inquiry into optimal regulation on how to minimize youth vaping, what is working overseas, impact on smoking black market. So you, and I mean Australians, can give feedback on this. I believe therapeutic goods and other legislation. Oh, maybe not. Maybe you can't. Okay, maybe you can't. Maybe you can't. But, but... How crazy, how crazy would it be if in 2023, Australia adopted a prescription model and then in 2024, they went right back to a retail model? That's unbelievable. Yeah, I hope Bogan can move back to Australia. Am I allergic to beer? What is going on here? I don't know what's going on here. Yeah, every news that I see out of the UK and Australia, all I think about is Sam. All I think about is Bogan. That's all I think about. I'm like, oh man, he had to move because of prescription model. And then he goes to the UK and they're going to ban flavors. And then they're going to tax it there. And then meanwhile, back in his home country, they're like, actually, the prescription model was kind of a mistake. We might go back to the way it was before. That's crazy to me. That's bananas. I'm rooting for the for Australia so hard, James. So hard I'm rooting for Australia. I'm rooting for Australia, I'm rooting for Florida, and I'm rooting for the UK hard. Hard, hard, hard. If they win, then we can win too. I know, Chris, I don't usually... <laughs> oh, good to see your face, Chris. I hope you're doing good, man. I haven't got to see you. I haven't got to chat. I haven't seen you on Twitter. I don't know what it is. I haven't seen you on Twitter. I usually am a two sneezer, but that was like four, and that was weird. That was weird. So Australia going another direction. UK going another direction. Canada still going in a bad direction. US uh, FDA versus the Supreme Court, and that brings us up to speed. So let's... I got to sing happy birthday, though. I got to sing happy birthday, and then we got to taste a mother trucking liquid. Uh, and how the doctor was talking about the different metals you can vape with ceramic, too. Like, these people were just trying to tear shit apart. Yeah, you know. <coughs> that went out the wrong. Uh, that went out the wrong hole. Yeah, you know, and but here's the thing, Rip. I don't blame Bogan for anything that he did. I do not blame Bogan. I still support Bogan for, e for everything that he said. Hella chats, raw chuck, hella chats. I'll get there, raw chuck. I'm sorry. Thank you for reminding me, buddy. I hope you're doing good. Heck of chats. Um, raw chuck, love you, bro. We'll get through this together. Chuck, I mean, raw chuck, thank you. Mr. Raw chuck, thank you. I appreciate that, man. I appreciate you. I, I, I like to track. I don't know what it is, but I still I, like I keep track of patrons and, you know, when they joined and, you know, because I sometimes see people in the chat for a while and then they join the Patreon. And it's like, oh, yeah, welcome, bro. You know, so raw Chuck, I. I appreciate you. I've seen you around. I, I, you know, I know you're in, I know you're my Patreon. I know we chat on Thursdays. I know I see you raw Chuck. I just want to say it's been a pleasure getting to have raw Chuck, uh, in the Patreon and in the chat. I, I, I appreciate you, bro. I appreciate you. Um, raw Chuck also says, if you want to see scatterbrained, watch me play drums. <laughs> watch me play drums sometime. Dude, I didn't know you played drums. You play drums? Dude, I play bass. We need a guitar player. Let's start a band. <laughs> you know how many bands I've committed to in my life? Just hundreds. Hundreds. I've said yes to so many bands that never had a band practice. It's not even funny. It's okay. It's okay. I was in Scare Horse for a while. And I'm pretty sure I started a band with my buddy Jim a few years ago, but we just haven't written anything yet. Anyway, appreciate you, Rawchuck. 
Miss Bagpipes, my cousin, says, sorry, not there, second week in a row, busy attending church like a good Episcopalian. My mom would be so proud. She would. I, I, you know, I, th I think Laura would be proud. You know what else would make her day? Donating to my great niece. That's right. There's a band trip. There is a band trip. My cousin is trying to organize a band trip. Whoops. Uh, for some high school band members. And if there's one thing that sticks in my feels, man, it is high school concert band. Because I played trumpet with all the nerds. And I got to hang out with all the band nerds. And it was the funnest group of people literally ever. Maybe choir was a little bit more fun than band. But bands, band is fun. What if bands are the best? Yeah, what if bands are, are the funnest, are the funnest, are the funnest. I've started a lot of those. <laughs> I started a lot of those. Dude, we should start a band. Okay. And then you just think of a name and you're like, this is a cool band. Are we going to write any music? No. Nah. No, we're not. We're not, we're not going to write any music. That's fine. <laughs> that's fine oh man i'm sorry there's a bunch of super chats to get through kennedy are we on the super chats is that what we're doing did we did i come over to the super chats okay i think i did kennedy says me 2022 2023 2024 i watched my mom deteriorate for many years as we lived with her and watched her pass in my presence i feel every bit of you love you love and light kennedy i love this stuff <laughs> Yeah, Kennedy, wow, that's, uh, fuck, that's, that's just difficult. And I, I admire you so much for getting through that. It's tough. It's, it's difficult. Like, I'm not going to lie. It's tough, man. I break down. I try to be, you know, I try to be, I try to be, you know, uh, uh, cool like a stoic man is supposed to be. But fuck that, man. Feel all your emotions. Cry as much as you laugh. Like, feel all your human emotions, bro. I can't stand that alpha male fucking I don't cry bullshit. Live in reality, man. Sidetracked. Uh, you have truly kept me alive during the months in the hospital over the festive season and birthday. 100% true and not about my lungs. This stuff has stopped very bad choices. When I'm going to disassociate, I find an old vlog and crank the volume. I'm happy to help, Sidetracked. I really am, man. That that means a lot. Thank you. Find an old vlog, crank the volume. I've done that in the past too. It's weird. Sometimes I have shed time and uh, I'll go back and watch old Grim Green videos, like really old Grim Green videos. And I can, all, I, like every video of mine that I watch, I can remember like when I shot it and what I was thinking and how I was feeling. And I remember like the editing process of some of these videos. It's like a weird tripping through time kind of thing, man. Sidetrack. Thank you, man. I appreciate you. Appreciate you deeply. L.Y., uh, the fact that you don't charge is why you're my go-to guy for Def Mods reviews. I know you give the product an honest and fair review without charging me five grand. Yeah, dude, I'll review your shit. Honestly, anything cool, like I, I'll review it for free. I'll just put it on YouTube. I don't even care. I want more small companies to hit me up because I'll review your shit for free, bro. If you have a small company or a small business and you're like, well, I just got this little mech mod or, oh, I only released one little liquid line. Dude, I will, I, I'm all about promoting small businesses. If you are a small vape business, Grim Green reviews your shit for free, for free. Just hit me up and I will promo the fuck out of it. As long as it's good. That's the caveat. As long as it's good, even if it's bad, I'll still get out there and tell you that it's bad, but I'm all about it. I like helping good companies and uh, thank you. I Thank you for trusting me with some Def Mod reviews. I appreciate that. Michelle Lynn. Michelle Lynn says, hey, mister, I hope you've been doing okay. Sorry, I've been a stranger. Life's been busy. That's fine, Michelle Lynn. I get it. Life is busy and you're like, you know, cool musician person you're like cool bass player check you know you're just playing bass with all these cool bands 
life's been busy, but you really mean like, yeah, life's been awesome. And I've been playing bass with cool bands. Appreciate you, Michelle Lynn. Hope all is well in your world. Mums, uh, as I was dying, I was at a concert in Toronto in 2013. Greetings from Germany. The fat guy from Hall of Ape. Oh, as I lay dying. There we go, mums. As I lay dying. Greetings from Germany. The fat guy from Hall of Ape. What? <laughs> I don't... Who... Mums, I've met you a bunch of times. And I don't know that I would ever describe... I would never say, mums? Oh, yeah. He's that fat guy from Hall of Ape. No. What? Get out of here, mums. <laughs> Appreciate. It. Hope you're doing well. Hope all is well in Germany. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Down with the scripts, Melbourne. Yeah, down with the scripts in Melbourne. someday I'd like to visit Melbourne, Australia. Melbourne. You ever been to Melbourne? <laughs> yeah, this has been too much beer, too much emotions tonight. Jake Scrapwood. Uh, you can try to be a rock for everyone, but eventually even the strongest stone will crumble under enough pressure. Yeah, man, that's true. Fuck. That hits with me, Jake. How did you instantly make me weepy? But yeah, you can try, but it's, it's like, it's futile, man. Just be a human, embrace yourself, embrace emotions. Like it's not, it's crazy. It's part of the human experience, man part of the human experience, Jake Scrapwood. I appreciate you. Appreciate you. Hope all is well in Melbourne. Okay. This vlog has to end before four hours. So what I'm going to do before I bio break is let's see what the poll is at right now. Okay. So Dino Juice is moving to the next round. Great. Dino Juice, just move into the next round. <laughs> move into the next round. <laughs> uh, will it make it to the end, though? We will. We might not know. I'm sorry we did not get to do a retro vape tonight. I promise, promise, promise we will do one on the next vlog. Just, uh, sorry. And then, <sighs> uh, shit. I don't know what to do. All of these are going to require Nick shots. All right, we're going to it has to be a fourth uh uh s selection tonight. <laughs> if I could spell, this would be a lot easier. Okay, so there's a poll in the chat right now, but nope. This these are the liquids that are up for grabs tonight. Up for the random liquid tasting. Raptor Raspberry Ripple made it past the first elimination and it's reaching the second round. Fluid Pineapple Upside Down Cake is also making the second round. Big V's Wombat, which is a lemon coconut macaroon, is also making the round. And then Rebel Bogans, since we've been talking about him so much, the Sick Current is up as well is up as well so please vote if you don't vote today then you don't get to vote funky i'm gonna go bio break i will be right back vote 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 voting matters here more than it does at a federal election
you guys. You gotta see this. I hope everybody's voting. Please vote. That's just my, uh, that's my dude, that's my main man, that's my boy, that's, that's Shmurphy, that's, he's everything, he's my life, I love him, <laughs> I love him. Everybody voted? Let's check in on the voting. Uh, oh my, Raspberry Ripple and Pineapple Cake are tied, completely tied right now, completely tied. Let's go. Let's go. Let's break this tiebreaker. I got a mech mod and a, 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 a Turk V2. Dang, I didn't even use my Epiclosi camera tonight. I know. Here's the thing. We're just running too long to do a retro vape, and I apologize. This is kind of a retro vape. It's a Turk V2 RDA, you know, with a sick Turk build in it, I think. On top of the, uh, this is a great mech. This is the uh, Atoll X. The Atoll X. It's got smooth bits in the middle for holding. Love it. Love this mech. There's the side view of the liquids. There's the front view of the liquids. Are we still voting? Oh, come on, Childs. You're in my way. Get out of there, Childs. Oh, Raspberry Ripple has pulled ahead. I can't believe it. Keep voting. Keep voting. Keep voting. Keep voting. Keep voting. Anybody who didn't vote, you need to vote. 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 If you don't vote right now, then you're never going to vote. And that's fine. And so, El Chris, thank you. Uh, I, I I also agree. I think this is a really great looking mech. The little, like the cutout textures feel nice, but you can see there's like a smooth band in the middle. Boom, that's where you hold it. And it's so comfy. It's so comfy. Soft carrots, you voted lemon coconut macaroon. LJ, here's the thing. Nobody votes for the blueberry lemon, so the blueberry lemon is its going to be out for, a, for just a minute. Just a minute. It'll come back again, I'm sure. Everybody see my creator pin? A good band. You should listen to creator. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Pit rules apply, Paul Cole. Mosh pit rules apply. If someone falls, you pick them up. That's it. Period. These are mosh pit rules. If someone falls, falls, you pick them up. If someone falls, you pick them up. If someone falls, you pick them up. Period. Mo the mosh pit told me everything I needed to know about my life, you know? If someone falls, you pick them up. If someone falls, you pick them up. Yep, the winner gets uh, a gift certificate to the Steak and Vapes. <laughs> Cody. <laughs> Winner gets a, a, a gift certificate to the Steak and Vape, <laughs> the famous Steak and Vape, Steak and Vape, where you can eat steak and cloud chase. Yeah, dude. Ray. Creator? Ray, did we just become better friends? Do you, are you into Creator? To Troy, you like Creator? Love Creator. Love some Creator. My favorite thing about Creator is... They've been in a band since they were like 15 years old. Like Creator's first album, they're all like 18 years old. <laughs> and they're still around. And that just makes me so happy that these dudes have been playing metal since they were 18. Same with Metlica. You know, Metlica is very much the same way. Frank's like, let's do two. I mean, look, I need to re-wick some things, but... Uh... No, we can't. I don't want to run crazy long tonight. I don't want to run crazy long. We can't go for four hours. We can't go for four hours. Oh, I didn't even do the bumper. You're right, Tim. What the hell? Shirt's off in the pit. Shirt's off in the pit. 
Whoops. I mean, shirts off in the pit, shirts off in the pit. Like that genty breakdown right there. All right. What about secretion? What about secretion? Oh, birthdays. Oh, birthdays. Okay, okay, okay. Let's do birthdays right now. I didn't make a note of that, and I'm sorry. Go. Right now. We're pausing this. Is everybody voting? Did everybody vote? All right. Let's keep voting. Uh, I think Raspberry Ripple's going to win, which I'm happy to see it go into the finals here. Let me sing happy birthday real quick to a few people that are that are that we should see be singing happy birthday to. Oh look, Forsaken One, we have gone four hours. No problem. No problem. No problem. We've been we've gone four hours. I can do four hours standing on my head, you know? I can do four hours standing on my head. Yeah, Barbara Burgess, here's the thing. You remember my old Christian metal band uplifted? Patrick Conquest has the CD in his possession. He's got the CD. He like took the CD booklet, put it on his wall. He's a big uplifted fan. You want you want a CD? I'll send you an uplifted CD. Also, hey Flitz. How's it going, man? Malevolent creation? All right. Well, now Ray, you're speaking my language. You're talking about some some like early 90s Florida death metal? I'm there. I'm here for it. Malevolent? Fuck yeah, malevolent. Fagan vapes. Fagan streams for 10 hours. Fagan streams for 10 hours. Whoa. That's respect. That's respect to Fagan. I can't. I don't know if I could go for that long. I don't know if I could go for that long, man. All right. We're ending this poll. Guess what? Won. Can you believe it? Raspberry Ripple. Finally, you guys get the hell out of here. Nobody wants to see your ass. Get out of here, fluid. We're going with Dino Sauce, Raptors Raspberry Ripple. So, hang on, let me get a Nick shot, throw it in here. I mean, I know I have some, but yeah, there it is. Okay. I know Schneeko is outside. I don't, I don't know where Schneeko is. Nick shot. Okay. Let's put a Nick shot in here. Let's do the damn thing. Uh, this is assault. It's okay. I don't generally jam on uh, salt nicotine, but look at this trick. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Shout out to uh, the UK vape scene for. Oh, oh, okay. What are the? Can we get nixamide shots? Can I get nixamide shots? Because if I can get nixamide shots, I'll rock all my UK liquid with nixamide in it. Like, no questions asked. I totally would. Oh, Schmurphy's bored. He's leaving. I gotta take him outside. Can I get Nixamide shots? That would be sick. Hashtag just saying. Eye contact. Shake the bottle. Eye contact. Shake the bottle. Eye contact. Sorry. Shake the bottle. Don't indulge fantasies. <laughs> Eye contact. Shake the bottle. That's how Fresh 03 does it. So, you know, who am I to argue with Fresh 03? 
<sighs> okay. That is frothy. Listen, I like a good raspberry ripple. I like Amertorium's raspberry ripple. I'm a I'm all about raspberry ripple. Oh, that's right. Let's do birthdays while I shake. Let's do birthdays while I shake. Hey, Grim, birthdays. I only have Dalton Beaver and Tribal Buddha's daughters, Paige and Serenity. That's who we're singing happy birthday to. Actually, hang on. Let me check the uh, the Discord real quick because there's a good chance I might have. Uh... Whoops. Let's do a slash here and then we'll list it. Go. Um, Derek. Justin, what? Derek and Justin from my Patreon. It's your birthdays. Rocco Mac? Rocco Mac? Natreed? Wait, Metal Morrissey? Metal Morrissey? I don't think we're... Here's the thing, Metal Morrissey. I'm going to sing you happy birthday today. Natreed, aka Swift Cycling, Justin and Derek. Dang. I'm sorry. I forgot. I didn't write down any of these birthdays. That's crazy. Metal Morrissey, I didn't realize your birthday was so close to my birthday. It's cool. Cool. Okay, let's sing happy birthday while well, this is steeping, you know? While well, this is steeping. While this is steeping, we'll sing happy birthday. Queen Honey Bunny's grandson number two. Is this for real life, QHB? Okay. I'll put it in there. Ben? 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 I wrote Bew instead of Ben. Is that okay? I wrote Bew. <laughs> Let's sing happy birthday. Lord Sigurd, thank you for those emojis. Keep them coming. Keep them coming, buddy. You're my emoji guy. I need you. Mm -hmm. My birthday is April 21st. Just saying my cash app. Listen, we'll get to your birthday. We will get to your birthday. Steve, that's a good call. Appreciate you. We will get to your birthday. Um, have I made the other announcement yet? I don't know if I have, and I meant to do it at the very beginning. I meant to do it at the very beginning. Uh, I meant to do it at the very beginning. Okay, hang on. Let me sing happy birthday and then make an announcement. Jeremy V, I'm sorry about these timestamps. I mean, thank you for being a great timestamper, but tonight is a rough night. Tonight is a rough night. <gasps> what? Frank says, uh, no. M Turk's wife, Chloe, has brain surgery? Wait, 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 wait. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, I don't see anything on his Instagram. I saw him get married, but it's not on his Instagram. No, send me a link. Holy shit. How do I get this link? Oh, wait, here it is. Here it is. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Oh my God. Yes. We are, of course, of course, going to put this in the chat. Holy shit. Turk, why didn't you... Hit me up. I will promote this for you. Chloe is chronically ill. She had a recent brain surgery to remove a large cyst from her pituitary gland. This was meant to be a routine procedure. The surgery went well. She spent a week in the ICU before being discharged. After two peaceful days at home with their dog, Chloe started experiencing severe pain and stroke-like symptoms. Mike took her to the ER Thinking she was experiencing something like dehydration, Chloe actually experienced a very rare complication, a significant life-threatening drop, life drop in sodium. 
a case her doctors have never seen before. The depletion of sodium in her body post-op resulted in the same brain damage that a minor stroke would have caused. Chloe is a professional artist and tattoo artist. The loss of her motor skills in her dominant hand as well as, oh my God, Turk, bro, Chloe. Yeah, yeah, Chloe. Holy shit. Yes, yes. We're putting this in the chat for sure. So much love to Chloe. Oh my Lord, Turk, I had no idea, bro. Oh, I wish you would have hit me up. I would have been promoting this from the beginning. I would have been promoting this for as long as possible. Fuck. I know Chloe. I've spent time with Chloe. She's great. We used to DM about advocacy all the time. Uh, this is uh, breaking my heart, man. They adopt foster dogs. Yeah, I know Turk is a is a super advocate for animal animal rescues and addiction recovery. Oh fuck. Okay. Yeah, that's all out there for Turk. For Turk. For Turk. If you pray, pray for Turk. But pass over me. I'll be fine. I don't have a brain I don't need brain surgery like Chloe does. Oh my good lord, Turk. I love you, man. Chloe, I love you. I'm hoping the best for you. And I'm going to put your link in the description. Maybe we can raise some money. You need to raid 25 Gs. I'm going to promote this on Instagram. I'll promote this everywhere, dude. I'll promote this everywhere. That's messed up. All right. Well, now, again, thank you, Jeremy V, for these timestamps. Let's sing happy birthday real quick. Let's sing happy birthday real quick. And we'll sing happy birthday to Chloe, even though I don't know if he gets her birthday. We'll just sing happy well wishes to birthday. Your daughter's birthday, Alyssa. All right, Alyssa. Easily done, Alyssa. Your daughter's birthday, Alyssa. We're going to sing directly to Alyssa, the Sharon Lane. Okay, let's sing happy birthday, everybody. Nope. I thought it was going to come out. That's not. Happy birthday to you guys. Happy birthday to them. Happy birthday, dear Dalton Beaver. Also tribal Buddha's daughters, Paige and Serenity. Also Metal Morrissey, also Natreed. Also, Justin and Derek and Ben. Also, Queen Honey Bunny's second granddaughter. Happy birthday. And finally, Alyssa, the Sharon Lane's daughters, Alyssa. Happy birthday to you. Skip around the room, skip around the room. You know what to do. You skip around the room. You skip around the room. Skip around the room. Shake the juice, skip around the trucking room. Skip around the room. Skip around the room, you guys. Happy mother trucking birthday. Metal Morrissey, I didn't know we had birthdays so close to each other. The other announcement, and I will need a timestamp for this. The other announcement is next week is my birthday. I get to skip around the room. Last year, we streamed on my birthday because my birthday fell on the 6th. And so instead of taking any time off for my birthday, I just worked for my whole birthday and we streamed on my birthday. And it was honestly a lot of fun. It was a, it was a really fun stream. This year... I just want to give everybody a heads up, everybody, patrons included, I am taking next week off 100% Monday through Friday. I will be doing nothing, zero. And I mean, it's actually zero this time. Whenever I take breaks, 
I, I never take a break from my patrons. I always take a break from YouTube and, you know, the world. But my patrons still get streams. My patrons still get hangs. My patrons still get a whole bunch of stuff. This week, and I love you guys. You know I love my patrons. You know I love the Cool Kids Club. This week, this coming Monday through Friday, I will be excommunicado. I will be unavailable. I will not be able to be reached. There will be no streams. There will be no nothing. I am taking one week before my birthday to actually completely unplug completely. I'm not going to be going on Facebook, although I don't go on Facebook. I'm not going to be going on Instagram. I'm not going to be going on Twitter. I'm not going to be going on Reddit. I'm not answering DMs. I'm not doing literally anything. I am taking one full week, literally just to myself. Nothing. I'm not communicating with the world, not communicating with anybody. I will only be answering text messages. And if you don't have my number, then that's fine. You don't get to text me. I'm only answering text messages and answering phone calls. And that's it for Monday through Friday next week. I will be Casper. I am a ghost. I am gone. I, I just need some time to myself. I just want to do some things like I just want to get really, really stoned and paint. Like I want to paint a big canvas. I want to get really, really stoned and paint a big canvas. Like that's the shit I'm going to do next week. I'm not going to be anything with Grim Green. There's going to be no vaping. There's going to be no Instagram. There's going to be no reels. There's going to be no stories. There's going to be literally, I mean, literally nothing. Literally nothing. Off grid, like beyond off grid, Steve. <laughs> like so far off grid that it's like the grid doesn't even exist anymore. The grid's gone. The grid burned to the ground. That's how off grid I'm going to be. That's how off grid I'm going to be. Completely gone. I haven't done this in a really long time. Like I said earlier, most times when I take a break or when I take like any sort of vacation, I will generally like, you know, I'll still stream with the patrons. We'll still do boosh boxes. We'll still do some stuff. And I like doing that. And I still have fun doing that. But this time, I'm doing none of that. Whoa, this is a 21700. What am I thinking? I just need about a week to just decompress completely. Maybe even watch TV, you know? I don't watch TV. I need to watch TV. I might watch a TV show. I might watch a movie. Could you think? I mean, imagine that. A movie. The knuckle of this was really good. BT dubs. Hey now, Turk. Hey now. I feel like there's culotta in here. Frank Neal. There you are. Uh, thank you for the, uh, thank you for informing me about Chloe and Turk. There it is. There it is. There it is. All right. Uh, well, here's the thing. I'm going to real quickly bio break, but I'm going to take this with me and I'm going to vape it while I'm bio breaking. So I'll leave you with this. I'll be right back.
Okay, hang on. Okay. Hang on there, seventh floor tango. Here's the thing. <laughs> Does anybody know what I'm going to say? El Chris, why'd you mention Dune? Now all I want to do is talk about Dune. That's my impression of the uh, the Imperial Warriors talking about how dreams are messages from the deep. <laughs> I only worship one god, and his name is Shai Halud. Come on, Dune was amazing. Dune 2 is like literally like the best movie ever made. The best movie ever made. It's so good. Oh god, it's good. Let's talk about Dune. Forget this. Let's talk about Dune. So, my favorite part of Dune 2, I'm kidding. I won't give any spoilers. I won't give any spoilers, but uh Paul Atreides is kind of a badass, even though I know he's not like a Luke Skywalker, like hero type of character. He's still a badass. It is just, if we're talking about the dino juice here, dino sauce, Raptors Raspberry Ripple. I got this at the last uh, Vapor Expo UK I was at. Dino sauce was in the Modders Gallery. They were super cool, super cool people. I got to taste some of their liquids. I got to grab a few bottles. It was really great. They were great people with good liquids and they really believed in it. And that's what I liked the most was how much, like when you walk up to a, like a big bottle manufacturer and it's just some sales guy at the booth and he's just describing the liquids to you, I'm always like, yeah, that sounds fine. I'll vape them and that'll be fine. But when I go to a booth where it's just like a couple and they're like, we started this liquid company. Do you want to try our liquids? I'm like, oh, yes, I definitely do. Let me taste all of these. And I tasted them and they're like, we tried mixing this. And like, it just meant more. I'm like, I would much rather support Dino Sauce than like, you know, big bottle brand juice liquid company over here monster labs or whatever yeah okay corporate vape whatever give me some dino sauce give me like two people just mix and craft liquids that's where you'll find the real joy and this is joy this is joy it doesn't taste like uh the other raspberry ripple that i've had this is a little bit more culotta in it and be I, a little i mean it's got culotta in it and the other one that i've had from amortorium had no culotta in it it's a little bit throaty i kind of already said that it's a little bit throaty no nobody uh, no no see dude the dune books which to be fair i haven't read go get they get a little bit crazy i've read like the cliff's notes version of the dune books you know it's like 10 pages of you know the god emperor of dune and you're like what <laughs> what so paul atreides kid by like mixes his dna with a sandworm and becomes a a human sandworm hybrid that rules the planet Arrakis for 10,000 years? What? What? That is crazy. So yeah, the Dune books get a little bit weird. Sorry, we're going back and forth between Dune and Raptor's Raspberry Ripple. I apologize. But, but, yeah, always support mom and pop. Always support mom and pop. Yeah, God Emperor of Dune. Children of Dune, I'm looking forward, like, I really hope they make Dune Messiah a movie, and I really hope they make Children of Dune. I hope they go through with the whole thing. I want people to see how crazy this story is. <laughs> people need to know how weird Paul Atreides is. Okay, so back to the Raspberry Ripple. It's good. It's raspberry. It's a little bit throaty but it's much more ice creamy than the other raspberry ripple that I had. The other raspberry ripple that I had tasted very much like a pie topping, like a clear gelatinous pie topping. This more so tastes like raspberry ripple vanilla ice cream and there's a bunch of culotta in it. It's delicious. This is delicious. It, it is sweet. It is 
very, very creamy. It's not too sweet. It's not even approaching the sweetness fence. It's backed off, but it's still very sweet. It's nice. It's creamy. It's raspberry. It's a hair. It's a hair throaty. Okay. It's a hair throaty. That's what I'm going to say. We should watch Dune. Oh, Akbar! Oh, Akbar, I did your assignment in America tonight. Were you here? Oh, I, and, I, and I mispronounced your, your last name, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. So here's what I'll say about the uh, Dino Sauce Raptors Raspberry Ripple. This is just undeniably a good liquid. It's sweet, it's raspberry, it's vanilla, it's a little bit of culotta in there. It kind of feels a little bit like you're actually eating like a raspberry ripple kind of ice cream. It is delicious. For me, it's a little bit throaty, but I don't think anyone else is gonna find it throaty, you know? Yeah, Troy, someone had a good night. But I'm not gonna. I'm, it's, it's a throaty that's not in a negative throaty. It's a positive throaty. There once was a liquid by someone named Ruby Roo who used to be in the vape community, and she released a liquid called My Ye, M Y E E, and it was the best liquid I've ever tasted in my life. If if they had kept making that liquid, I would still be vaping that liquid right now. It was my be all end all all day vape of all time. I worshipped this liquid. I mean, worshipped this liquid, and it gave me a little bit of a throaty feeling, like this gives me, like a good throaty, like you're definitely inhaling more than just oxygen, like more than just air. This is tasty. This is tasty as hell. Melbourne. <laughs> Rip. Here's the thing about Melbourne. That's like a running joke in the in the yo-yo in the Patreon. Someone said Melbourne. I don't even remember how it started. And so now we always say Melbourne in like the most American way that we can. Melbourne. <laughs> Melbourne. Yeah, here's what I'll say, Cloud Chucker, or should I say Cluck Chowder, is if you're mildly into raspberry, this is a banging raspberry. If you're about raspberry ripple, this raspberry ripple is is a top quality rap, raspberry ripple. Exactly. Chef Seamus, it's a, it's a good, good throat hit. It's not a bad throat hit. This is a positive, positive throat hit. Raptors Raspberry Ripple. That's all it was, Apathy. Raptors Raspberry Ripple. And we got the Turk so we can bleh like a madman. Which is the best part about va about dripping. This is good. I'm going to keep vaping this. Damn it. This is just going to be a setup now. This is just going to be a setup now. Damn it. I know it's 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 pronounced if you're if you're from Australia, I believe it's pronounced Melbourne. Like Melbourne. It's like saying uh, you know, uh 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 I don't know. Melbourne. It's not like Melbourne. It's like Melbourne. It's like it's like uh where do they have Vapor Expo UK? Birmingham. It's Birmingham. It's not Birmingham. It's Birmingham. 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 Melbourne. Birmingham. I like to say Melbourne and <laughs> Birmingham. Birmingham, United Kingdom. Melbourne, Australia. Anyway, that's just how I roll. Raspberry Ripple, really good. Shout out to Raptor or uh, Dino Sauce. Shout out to Dino Sauce for the free bottle. It finally got vaped. Raspberries Ripple, and it's going to continue to get vaped because not only do I like the Turk, I like this liquid, and I really like this mech. Damn, that's good. 
That's hell ass good. All right, everybody. Okay, here's the thing. We didn't do a contest, and I apologize. We didn't do a retro vaping, and I apologize. Those will be the top priorities of the next vlog. Remember that there is no vlog next week. Grim Green is dark next week. Darker the dark. Gone. Casper. Not even on the internet. I'm not even going to stream anything. I'm going to get out my DVD player and watch like DVDs that aren't on streaming like Dogma. I'm going to watch Dogma next week, you guys. Dogma. Yeah, Huntington. That is what it's like. It's exactly like Huntington Beach. No one in California says Huntington. <laughs> Huntington. Huntington Beach. No, it's Huntington. Huntington. That's it. Huntington. Not Huntington. Huntington Beach. Huntington Beach. Yeah, well... Listen, no, we're not. We couldn't possibly talk about Ruby Root tonight. Not with how emo everything has been tonight. I couldn't. I couldn't possibly bring up uh, Ruby Root and uh, without gently sobbing. That would just. That would just be reality. You know, that's just what's going to happen. So we're not going to do that. But here's what we're going to say. I think this is the end. Let me take a quick look and and uh, and let me let me let me take a quick look. Zayo, I mean Twisted Timmy's. Shit, Raspberry Ripple. Look, uh, this has been a fun vlog. Despite everything, thank you guys for making this such a fun ass vlog. Like, you guys deserve at least half, if not more, of the credit for making this such a good, fun stream and such a cool place to hang out. You guys do that. You know, when I see new people pop in the chat and say hello, I'm never worried. I'm like, dude, everybody's going to be so nice to you. You have no idea. <laughs> you have no idea, dude. Thank so seriously, thank you guys for for being there for me, for having my back, for being a great audience, for being I mean, really understanding of just me and the things that are going on and my mission and you know my goals and just things that are going on in my life thank you for being understanding thank you for being down for the cause just thank you i couldn't i i like i'm gonna get weepy again but fucking a maggots maggots <laughs> the maggots are falling like rain maggots 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 the maggots are falling like rain honestly truly from the bottom of my little fucking vapor filled heart i just love this shit I love it. It changes people's lives, man. It's way cooler than just a good liquid or a cool RDA or a neat squonker or a dope boro. It's so much more than that. We're actually changing and saving people's lives. It, it's, it's so much more to me. I, I love this. Only come here if you love this shit <laughs> because I love this shit. You're not going to see anything but vape. On this channel, that's what Grim Green does. I like vaping. Only come here if you like this stuff. Only, <laughs> only come here if you like this stuff. I love this stuff. So thank you guys for, I mean, you. It, it feels like I get to hang out with my best friends every Thursday. It feels like I get to hang out with my team every Thursday. I really appreciate you guys more than you can realize. And I hope we have fun. Because I have fun. I hope you guys have fun. Next week, definitely, definitely a retro vaping. Next week, definitely, definitely, definitely a retro vaping. That will be top priority as well as the biggest, like a big give like a big contest. We're gonna have a cup, we're gonna have a big contest, you know? A big contest. Smoke free three years? Hell yeah. Smoke free three years. Dude, that makes me like I can't express to you how happy that makes me to see someone who smoked cigarettes not smoking cigarettes anymore just because I was like, hey, this Argus is pretty good. And someone's like, hey, I'll buy that Argus. And then they quit. Get out of here, dude. That's the most satisfying shit in the history of satisfying everything. Ugh. 
So, you guys, I love you. Two weeks. I'll see you guys in two weeks. The next vlog. I won't see your faces for one full week. I will miss you, but I will also be thoroughly, thoroughly relaxing, sleeping in every day, and, and, and doing nothing but enjoying myself. Nothing but enjoying myself. So, again, thank you guys. Thank you for understanding. And honestly, just thank you for being super like super fucking cool. That's it. Period. Thank you. I owe you guys so much. So fucking much. I don't have an outro for this stream. I don't have an outro for any streams, but I always say we're going to we're going to say goodbye with my BFF Omboyosi. He texted me during the during the stream. I love this man. He he's one of my nearest and dearest friends. He was a friend when I really needed a friend. Let's say goodbye, Don Boy OC. I'll see you guys soon. Take care of yourselves. Peace out. Be excellent to each other and be excellent to yourselves. Don Boy OC believes he can fly. Peace. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. Any time of year, dun 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 and dun. I believe I can fly.